Hey, Onnit can optimize you during the day, that's for sure. I mean, if you got problems with your brain to help you focus with Alpha Brain, they got Alpha Brain Instant. If you got problems with your digestive health, they're there for you with total gut health. They got stuff for your support and vitality. They got essential nutrients. We know about performance. You want to optimize your performance, you got Shroom Tech Sport, you got glutamine, you got creatine, you got mineral electrolytes. You even got stuff for your immune system, like Shroom Tech Immune, Virutech, all right? This stuff is used by the owners themselves. But what about when you sleep? On it meets you halfway. They got melatonin spray. They got new mood. All kinds of stuff. Sleep. How do I keep it going? I sleep and I use the melatonin spray. Hey, Brennan, just talking about on it, talking about what they got for us, which is pretty much everything for your body, for your biology. You know what I'm saying? Got anything to add? Huh? Yeah, I thought so. On it leaves even Brendan's shop. How about speechless. you slam this Death Star in your freaking ass, dude? I'm not doing no, that, they dude. Have, they have slam balls. Yeah, well, Death that's Star right. Death Star slam balls, dude. Yeah, I know what How they got. How about a Han Solo yoga mat? What? They got Han Solo yoga mats? You like Star, Star Wars? I like, like aligning my chakras, I'll tell you that much. All right, bro. Man, what doesn't on it do besides punch you in the face? <sighs> All right, listen. Get in shape, man. It's 2020. All human Who's day the, and night. 2020. I hey, Lizzo, 10% off. On it.com, ten percent right. off, dude. That's right. You just say promo code fighter. Right. Everybody can use it, including everybody. Himself. Name somebody. On it.com slash fighter. Even Obama probably uses He's it. He's already in shape. Plays basketball. Ah, uh, good. Think point. Some, something else. All right, Donald Trump. Hey, Donald. Donald Trump. Let's get you on some on it. All right, on it.com slash fighter. We're already uh, we're already rolling. This, yeah, this is good. The girl stuff. Chris yeah. Stefano and Gian, Giannis, Giannis, uh, what's your last Poopus, name? Poopis, Pappas, uh, Pippis, yeah. whatever you want to do. Pappas, dude. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Giannis Papadiris. It's good to have you guys here. You know, you are, um, you, you hug Brennan. Yeah. And, and then you, and you, and I, you turn your head <clears throat> and you kiss his neck. Now, right. is that the first time you guys are meeting? Yes. Yeah. Here's the other thing, though. And you kiss Every, his neck. But we, we're, we're text buddies. We're text, text buddies. Every time he texts me, he calls me babe. Yeah. <laughs> babe. Well, so he, we're he, pretty comfortable. You with like merch yeah. and you like fashion. This is their shirt. I want you to. Zoom in on that. That's a that's now they think that's a hyena, but looks it's a, a dog. more like a like it's a more like a German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe a yeah. coyote. Yeah. yeah, coyote. Yeah, that's not people. A hyena. And I, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, it's not a hot seller. <laughs> people yeah. haven't been buying us. That's why we no. just have them left over in my apartment. So let's give them to the boys. Yeah. yeah, because really our fans aren't loving them necessarily. But we're going to come out with new shirts pretty soon. Yeah, good. I would, I would rock a shirt with just two hyenas back to back laughing. We Let's should make yeah. that. We should make that because yeah. our, our first logo was our faces. We superimpose our faces into, like that. into a bloody hyena that had just eaten out a lion carcass. Yeah. And we were like, that'll be good. Women want to buy that. Yeah. And we were wrong again. You got a big female demo? Well, um, we have our demo is kind of like everybody. It's, it's kind of weird. Like we have people who are. Uh, politically extreme one way the other way we got guys we got girls we got a lot of transgender people yeah oh, well, i would say fa- i would say i would i would yeah. argue and anybody can tweet at me at christy comedy at history in this podcast we have the biggest transgender following of any podcast <laughs> yes. in the country well, I don't and i'm gonna know. say i'm gonna fuck so i just don't we, know we have a big it's fucking I, true i don't know i don't know bro i don't know we if do. have metrics for that and i'm gonna we have do. To, bloomberg news did it i yeah. don't know oh, i can i don't know if they did they did they did they did no and and i'm telling you check after this show yeah. fact check because i'm telling you i mean every i would say every fucking day every day or at least every other day yeah we get to our dms someone's post-op genitalia uh, and that tells us yeah that because they'll say you know love you guys going wild like because we'll, we'll say hey send us something wild you did today and people will constantly put in on a flight to thailand taking a piece of my elbow making a dick yeah. okay or you know <laughs> go you get a lot of they take a piece of the elbow again that's I'm what they, yeah no that's they what do in brooklyn guy yeah, yeah. all right i'll fucking take your elbow yeah. making a dick i'll fucking suck and i'll fucking mother yell trump 2020 you're getting crazy bro Dude, he's supposed to come in and super hot. And now hard. you're eating that so good. <laughs> you know? took man. a tiny bite of the fucking it's chocolate. It's disrespectful to eat rice patties in front of Asians and just take a big American yeah, fucking yeah, gulp. So yeah. I want to eat them like how they eat them. Yeah. Little dude, you're little so ants. thoughtful, man. I don't know they're if that's little, how they... You guys got little teeth and little ants. No, no, no. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> man, this is... Yeah. 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 He's a man. What do you mean? Little you're teeth, being little fucking ants. good people. You're being super disrespectful. You're racist. You're fucking good kids. No, I like it. I like it. I mean, I'll give you 20 bucks. You can 
tell the difference between Bobby Lee and Ali Wong. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, it would I'm take- not being a dick. We got transgender fans. I can say what I want. Yeah. I fucking stand with you. I stand with her. Yeah. Tuck, your dick, tuck your dicks back. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Do the right thing in the Man. election year in November. Go to the right. God damn it, Chris. Put your fucking shoes on right now. Put your fucking shoes on. God damn it. I'm so horny. I mean, I'm so, I'm so offended. I mean, I'm so offended. I'm so offended. Um, now, now uh, I want to say this before we get go any further. You're Greek. Yeah, I'm and, sorry and, about that. And I, I, I met I a urologist. You, I, I, I went, yep, I met a. Uh, you met a, a nurse who worked in the urology department. Saw ten thousand dicks and said, "Who has the biggest?" Before I got, "Who has the biggest?" She goes, "Biggest dicks, Greeks." And I said, she's full of shit. Yeah. 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 No. I went, she goes, they no, beat all the brothers the and everybody else. No, yeah. My black friends say, mm, oh yeah, my God. No. Yeah, no. It's not true. Yeah. yeah, you don't see, well, blacked, you don't see Greeked, right? There's no Greek. So maybe she doesn't know what she's talking she about. She doesn't know what she's talking about, but I appreciate you know what, what he's he's doing. You know what's yeah. big on him? His bush. He's got a full bush. Yeah. Okay. Greek's yeah. Absolutely. Big bush. All right, yeah, good. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Keep it old school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Stefano, what were you, what was your sport, bro? Um, I'm taking you in right now, and yeah. you're you're you represent muscular comedy. You and Del Vecchio. <laughs> oh yeah, a couple of thick boys. The problem with me is this though: when I take my shirt off, it all falls apart. Oh. So I look good in clothes. I was yeah. told by a casting director, and I think he nailed it. I got leading man face, best friend body. So you know when I take the shirt off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that's why I'm You know what I mean? If 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 I matched it all up, I'd be out there with fucking Tom Hardy You're doing Brad sex Pitt. scenes with him. Brad Pitt, yeah, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't you, do a sex scene with Tom Hardy. You can't like yourself that much if you're a comedian. Right. That's my opinion. Right. You gotta hate yourself a little bit. Yeah, like yeah. I, you know, I've always, you know, girls. It's always kind of like with me. You know, when I take those, sh when I take my shirt off, and Yana said the same thing. You're like, oh, we thought not that. It's terrible, but we thought it was going to be a little different. Yeah, you're the you're the thick girl in Spain. Yeah, like I got and then like, it comes <laughs> out and it just oh, like I get up, I got a lunch like lady a ass, too. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a fucking little bit of an LLA. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had a girl. I dated a girl who was big, but I didn't mind because she had the waist and she had just she was beautiful, but was just big, big, just a little too. I'm a little light in the ass for it. A it's situation. Not for you. It's Here's not for the problem. You. It was all good. Then one day she was lying on her back, mm -hmm. and it all flattened out. Her ass flattened out. Hey, no, cake. the face and the neck and everything flattened out. Yeah. Yeah. Like a blob, really. She looked different. It's like, like you're fucking a, a puddle. Yeah, it's a puddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I've done before. That's why I got chlamydia. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm a sex addict, I know, Brian. but you can't say that heavy girls give you chlamydia, for God's they sake. They do, but I'm uh, telling you, they do. I got transgender fans. I can say what I want. Yeah. All right, I guess you can. I guess you can. <laughs> you know who said that was, uh, uh, what's his name, who did uh, 300? Uh, Jared Butler? Gerard, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler. Oh, Gerard Butler. He said, like, everyone knew him from the movie 300. Hunter, biggest movies ever done, right? Yeah. And he's fucking Shred City. Yeah. Well, now, yeah. as money kind recently. of fucks it, yep. the body fell apart. Regular you got 300. Right. When he hooks up with girls, right. he's the sloppy puddle. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. He gets a little sloppy. Regular guy. Tits are out now. Yeah, yeah. tits are I'm, I'm, Dad bod. I'm, full dad bod. Because what I do... You know, it's, there's a lot of things like, you know, we have sex with the lights off. I try to keep the shirt on or I wear things that flatter my shoulders like or whatever. Armor? And, and even even dick pics I send out. I send out this one dick pic. Oh, no. But it's really like it's the Verizon Fios remote. I got gray Puts sweatpants on. I put a Verizon Fios remote in my sweatpants. A Verizon what? Verizon Fios TV remote. Yeah. I put one in my sweats about two years ago and I send that out as my hog. And then girls are like, oh my God, fill me up. And then when it gets down to it, I got to turn all the lights off, get them really wet. Yep. You yep, know, yep, yep, yep. like I, they have You're to honey just, dick them. Yeah, because I got, I got, I'm not saying I have a small dick. No. You know, I'm about, I would say, I said this the other day and I, I'm stand by it. I would say I'm about six, six inch dick, seven with warts. That's salt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when I have my, when I, when I don't put the cream on, when, no, seriously, guard is still whatever. When I don't put my HPV cream on, I got yeah. warts. I got one that typically is right by the pee hole and it kind of gets. The unicorn, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you have a recurring, you have a recurring wart problem. No, but you know, I mean, listen, you're yeah. going to get a little speed bumps on your dick. I agree you know, I mean, are we having fun out here? We having fun out here. Yeah, yeah no, you know I, what I mean, I don't have herp. I don't yeah. have HIV no, yet. I like, I like your style, yeah. man. Yeah. If I you like tie yours, off, Brandon. if you tie off at the base uh -huh. and, and right right behind the balls, that that you don't have to use the remote because that'll keep it somewhat hard. Right. And right. Gray pants. That's listen, a trick. man, he's old. It's a trick I used to use when I did some dancing. It's a veteran tip right It's a veteran move. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm a little bit. Six and a half is, I mean, you're. I have a decent penis. Yeah. You're in the game. The yeah, problem in the game. The I got your beat. Hope yeah, we both do. Not a big deal. Matter. Welcome to the show. Welcome matter. to the show. Bang. What do you guys <laughs> got? Big, big what do you guys got? What are you, what are you packing? Uh, well, uh, let's put it this way. Yeah. Sent, sent my boys. He and Tony what rhymes with mate? Yeah. Sent <laughs> 
Eight. <laughs> Give it up. Uh, 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 all right. be aggr- don't no, be aggressive. Keep going, though. Yeah. Uh, I sent them a picture of a piece. I, I didn't know them all, but they needed to understand what they were dealing with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. where we learn respect. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, and how about the, how about the first time I met you? They understand what the truth is. What's how the about the first time I met you? We're both at a urinal. taking a piss, and, and I'm taking a piss, and he just cocks that mongoose neck over. <laughs> over looks down, and I go... What are you doing? He goes, relax. <laughs> Be gay. I'm just looking at your dick. I want to yeah. see what you're working with. Yeah. You know what? And that's what it is. And, and honestly, man, I played sports in high school, and it was kind of like, you know, when I was a junior in high school, I was the captain of the team, and there were, you know, anytime a freshman would come on, sometimes the freshmen would make varsity, it's like, listen, babe, welcome to the team. Pull your dick out. That's yeah. right. And, yeah. the kid, and the guy would be like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, why? What are you, gay or something? Yep. And then they'd say, no, I'm not gay. I'm like, well, then pull it out. Yeah. And then I fucking yeah. see, and you tickle his balls a little bit. Tickle yeah. his yeah. balls. Hold on. Yeah. Make sure he's straight. Hold on, hey, bro. What the fuck is going on? You tickle his balls. I don't know, man. Why? You didn't play team sports. Yeah. He's not Brendan and I talking about team sports. We're going to your kung fu in the Tennis talk. What kind of what sport? Hey, hold on, TV. We're playing ball tickling. What was your sport? Guess what? Guess what position? Guess what position? Linebacker. That's what I would say, too. No, no. I went to an all-boy Catholic high school. We didn't have a football team because it was too toxic. Oh, you didn't play football? No, I played basketball and baseball. Oh. That's what I played. So Not yeah, fun, but okay. yeah, but you know, Division Three basketball. There was a girl on the other team. White basketball. I played uh, white, white basketball. Oh, white smart basketball. Yeah, yeah white that's smart why I'm wearing a Warrior yeah. shirt. Because shout out Chris Mullen. Shout yeah. out Chris Mullen. Hold fucking on, gotta, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> yeah, stop everything. Yeah. I gotta stop everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, dude, you just said white smart basketball because that's these white boys in Division Three. Yeah. They're not going there for sports; they're going there for their education. Uh, right. So you're talking. I mean, they're running Phil Jackson offense with no skill. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's, just yeah. Be, let's be sure we explain that. Yeah. There you go. Right, good. Thanks. Thanks for looking out. I'm not doing that. To you now. <laughs> hey, what rhymes with right. me? You guys, couple. I'm says a says a racist sandwich right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. And no. And no. Just, we're a trust, no. We're in the trust tree. I was gonna say you and I and everybody's diverse yeah. over here. He's a fucking. Great. Greek, Mexican, other. You can yeah. be Muslim oh, or Greek, who Mexican, knows. Whatever. Mexican, Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm Greek, but a lot of people just think I'm Mexican. Oh, you know? it's no, like, yeah, really? They're like, yeah, we had a show on the bracket MSG what? local TV in New York, and they said, we love Chris with that Mexican kid. Fat yeah, Mexican. Yeah, they said, kid. With the, fat Mexican. I was kid sitting down on yeah, the train, and yeah. some construction workers like, you that kid from the bracket? And I was like, yeah, he goes, it's good. You and the fat Mexican kid. Yeah, doing you guys what you're are doing good together. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, went back on his Nokia. I was like, it's 2018, but what are you going to do about it? You grew up in Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn kids. Yeah. He grew up in like the, you know, upper echelon. Slope. Park Slope, Brooklyn, yeah. gentrified, yeah, yeah. woke, dope. Yeah. And I grew up where it was like, you know, it's blue collar. Dude, how Brooklyn yeah. are they? I Very mean, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. My mother's born and raised in Bensonhurst. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that's out of the family. Hell yeah. nice. Do you ever go back there, visit her? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to go back to see my great grandmother, who was who died at 98 or something. Wow. I got good genetics. As yeah, you, you know. do. You look good. No, you, you look, look young. You're healthy. Both yeah. you guys, yeah. there's a lot of health out here in yeah, LA. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, yeah. not, you guys it, breathe not well. Not so much in New York? No, no. nobody's really healthy. Bro, I We're got anxious. fucking three, I got yeah. packets of Dayquil in my pocket yeah. right now. Ooh, I like We're not that. healthy kids. Yeah, we no. get nervous. Well, the only one I know who doesn't touch like bad food and who's. From New- Andrew Schultz doesn't eat bread. Andrew, Andrew Schultz doesn't touch bread. Really? Yeah, well, Andrew Schultz is running New York City like it's North Korea. Yeah, so okay. That's just I mean, what he's that fucking. Is, yeah. he, he tells he ship. tells people he doesn't poop, and then that's just what you have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. Schultz is yeah. our boy, but it's marketing, yeah. right? Yeah. Schultz is our fuck. It's marketing. He yeah. just yells so marketing, good at it. and he's our fuck. He's really fucking yeah. good at it. Yeah. No, we're on the Schultz. Where we are, Schultz disciples. You yeah. know, yeah. but it's the thing is, if Schultz ever gets a little lippy, I'll still fucking screw his head off. Yeah, that's what he knows about us. Yeah, yep, You know, and he's like, he posts boxing videos, and I said, all I got to do is tickle your balls for three seconds. Yeah, and that's it. Be in a relationship for two years, you'll never know what fucking hit you. <laughs> That's right. That's what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. That's how he wait fights. Wait That's how he does it. Yeah. You don't see him coming at all. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's the long, long game, bro. You fucking you bring me yeah. Christmas, guys. Even, so don't fuck with me, are you, Jones. Are you being metaphorical right now? Are you no, being literal? I'm saying, Brian, yeah. if that kid fucking, yeah. if, if people like that want to pop off at me, yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. fucking corner them at the comedy store or something, or out here at the comedy store, and I'll tickle their balls. Yeah. And the next thing you know, they're bringing me home for holidays, and we're in a gay relationship, going all over the world yeah. on his sky miles because he's selling yeah. more tickets to me right now and then he won't even fucking realize what happened until it's three years in <laughs> that's a fucking yeah. intricate metaphor in we've adopted yeah. an asian baby he also that's, said, a, that's a super that's intricate is. metaphor he told me before I we got he, here he said if either one of these guys starts talking shit he's yeah. gonna pop in their lap so quick they're not gonna know what hit him absolutely yeah. he said, keep talking pop in like it's christmas time yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. 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 no what are you talking about that's how we roll out there that might be palmetero all my friends like that to do the same shit as i do yeah i think that might be broken for i'm gonna kick your ass but i i'm confused i thought we're talking about Boxing.
absolutely, guy. We'll do all that shit. We'll have wedding photos. Un- absolutely. I'll get a fuck. full sex you change. Keep talking shit, fuck, bro. Man, I don't, I don't give a shit, shit, dude. Yeah. We'll get a puppy. Fuck, yeah, fuck, bro. I give don't up. tell Brian with a good time. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We'll start bug chasing. Whatever you need to do. Oh god. You know what bug uh, chasing is? I want to no. come. Yo, bug chasing's wild. Bug chasing? These kids don't know what bug chasing is. You don't know, know how he lives. He what chases bugs. Okay, so what bug chasing is is a phenomenon in the gay community. I've heard it's a phenomenon in the gay community where they go out and they have the the thrill because sometimes you're having so much sex that you just nothing pops off anymore so they have sex with guy the guy won't have hiv will have sex with the guy who has hiv and the thrill of catching the bug will get make them come so yeah. it's bug chasing oh that's right so i'm saying if you keep yeah. fucking me that's what we'll, we'll go out and do that for three years you won't even know it yeah God. you won't even know it till you fucking Dude, start serial converting sounds yeah awful Super. yeah bro you thought it's ufc was wild it's basically looking at aids in the eye and go what it's <laughs> yeah. going what to aids what it's, it's going yeah. what yeah. yeah now now it's not my cup of tea but it's brave yeah it's, it's brave. fucking 100%. brave man. everybody's out here with brave comedy specials will fucking come into christy d's world i'm bug chasing yeah third avenue Dude, what, hey, what a great name for a special. Yeah, yeah bug chaser. Bug chaser. Yeah, Chrissy the bug chaser. chaser. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's how we so roll. I'm going wild. My daughter's watching this. Yeah. This is great. And we do yeah. have a big trans. Uh, they they send us emails that just say thank you. Thank I you. don't know, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks. We get a lot of thank yous. We get a lot of thank you. I don't you know. Period. Do you, do you have kids too? No honest? kids. No. No kids. No. Married? Nothing? Just got married. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, just got married. Uh, just yeah. bought a house. Yeah. Oh, you're How is the comedy scene? You guys do. We're poor. We're poor compared to you guys. Yeah, we're poor. You guys will sit you guys will do mostly the comedy cellar or where else do you stand for the most part cellar. yeah comedy cell in the stand yeah, yeah. but Gotham. you know yeah, you're flapping but, your wings down. in new yeah. york yeah you know you know the talking about you know i mean people are you know the th- the difference is you know our peers at the comedy cellar will talk about like we're, we're the good comedians here and it's like you guys are eating pigeons yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean these guys are in flying teslas out here in la yeah. it's like what what do we do we want to do we want i got a family to feed i got a right. family and i got a gay husband i, I need to fucking yeah. pay yeah. i need to pay brian i'm not <laughs> what i got the fucking fuck trans fans going yeah. on, man. So I'm, I'm not lying you man. married you're married to a guy just for your fucking trans fans and i don't even believe you're gay dude yeah. i swear I'm to god I fucking, it, i'll tell you this right now i know this for one i am 100 percent I'm telling you, I'm 100% not gay, but I'm 100% not straight. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Man, I don't and I know, man. I'm so confused. For sure, <laughs> and I fucking swear to God, I fall in love with men. I have sex with women. Yeah. That's uh, what I do. Man. That's how he rolls. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, dude. I start holding I your hand right it. now. I'll get so horny. I'll fucking text he, what he does, on my phone. What he All does, right. yeah. He <laughs> has a girl over his house. He'll call me for a 45-minute conversation yeah. to get going, and then he's he's ready to go with her. I need thought. I, the only way I can come is insightful men. I was getting a blowjob a couple weeks yeah. ago in Denver. I couldn't. Three hours this girl. Was blowing me. My skin was. Uh, she was like recircumcising me. I put on an Obama speech, blasted a lot. I fucking shot one off the uvula <laughs> as soon as he fucking. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's yeah. Obama speech. Yeah. Obama right, speech, man. Delicious. I like black smart men. That's oh. what I'm into. But I, I like women now. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I'm confused as fuck. Yeah. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. That's, That's why a- I like Andrew Schultz. He's a smart black guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. he is. Yeah. He's a yes, he is. Smart black guy. Yes, he yeah. is. feels good, man. Now, do you guys it have? Good, you, guys, <laughs> you guys got teams. You got you guys. Giants fans. Jets Giants. fans. New York Giants, Giants baby. Yankees. Giants. Yankees. Uh, my teams are Giants, Yankees, New York Islanders, um, and uh, Serena Williams. Yeah. All right, and Serena yeah. Williams. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I could well, have said that. Here, but yeah, I feel yeah. you. Yeah. No, but I just like women's tennis, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work at the U.S. Open when I was a kid. Ball I boy. I didn't know that. Ball boy court attendant. And it was right? one of those things where it's like, when you work at the tennis, see, you know, the, when the U.S. Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, they get the elite kids, politicians' kids, and the royal family will have their kids do Wimbledon court yeah, attendance. Real that's, not how, that's not how it works in the U.S. Open. They get dirt bags from Queens and Brooklyn. Yep. So we were out there, 16, 17 years old, with these fucking balls. You know, my, my Pat Finnegan, Patty Fly balls. One, you know, we worked 20 years together there. And, uh, you know, and then Serena Williams, one, my friend hooked up with her. What? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, oh, I'll, say wow. that, I'll say that right to the fucking camera. I, I, I got a friend who hooked up with Serena Williams. You know what? Yeah. And I'll look yep. at you, and I'll look at you, and I say she, she he, and he didn't. And <laughs> no, he did. No, no, it was in Bloomberg I News. I swear to God, Bloomberg News no, wrote about. Yeah. It. Hold sure? on, yeah. she, she does news. like like kind of Ryan. weak white guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't read the Bloomberg. I gotta start reading Bloomberg. Yeah, is he? They were under the there was P practice courts P one through seven, and right under the bleachers. Yeah, that's where the big pros would play. Dude, I've seen everybody's dick by the way. Roger Federer, Andy Roddick, all these guys because I would restock the towels. And I so my job. Federer working with a. 
Right. Nice piece because my job was to restock the towels, but then sometimes I jump out of the ice cooler when they were naked. And I'd be like, oh, I gotcha. And I'd start jerking oh, no. everybody off. Especially if they're in the semifinals. Oh, they, I, I, I loved you, yeah. man. I, and then I one see the time, skeptical look in your no, face dude, like this isn't true. Time, just feel I, like swear, Chris is, I swear to fucking It's all Christ, true, bro. He's, I got a boy, my boy Scotty Karate, that used to work down there. He was fucking ripped Jack Kid. And he hooked up with Serena Williams and they did it. He, she was giving him a blowjob underneath P1 through 7 because I was looping a tennis racket up my ass. Yeah. And I, I, see swear, I swear to God. I don't know if this is true. I got fucking transgender fans. I'm not going to lie about that. I think that you're lying. You got to support that. You, gotta support you, got, that, you guys are too paranoid here. You got to believe. Have I'm some not faith. saying you're a liar. It's I just, true. I'm it's just hard to believe. Absolutely. It's what happened. I know you would never get on here and lie. And I know you never do this for your transgender fans. But I just... And yeah. if Bloomberg News and Bloomberg News Bloomberg said News. this about also the Serena stuff. Absolutely, Bloomberg wrote News about said the whole that about thing. the Serena yeah, stuff. Yeah, they wrote the about the New York Times. Again, we're gonna have to fact check. Yeah. I think. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we do. I believe them. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it was, we it was get great, reviewed though. all the time. The New Yorker wrote about us. New York Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. big time. Yeah. Do you guys live close to each other in New York? Yeah, we live a block away. Actually, a couple blocks away. Super close. He actually just moved up to another like two hours away upstate, and I'm gonna fucking burn his house down. Two hours? Yeah, like an hour. Yeah, why? It's my wife wanted to do it. You know, she wants to raise. I'm just yeah. living her dream now. Kid all yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. But you yeah. have a kid. You're a dad. I got a, I got a four year old daughter, but, but, and you know, I'm spending all my, she's my best friend, but you know, Giannis is uh, kind of like a life partner to me and now he's yeah. moving. So I, I want to get Joe DeRosa. I don't know if you guys know Joe DeRosa, a great comedian who looks enough like Giannis. So I want to get him into the neighborhood because I want to just pretend he's Giannis. <laughs> I'll put him on a leash. I'll fucking spank him. I'll make him do what I, what, what yeah, I well, Giannis. Yeah, surrogate. But now, I'll just, you know, yeah. yeah. And I'll just be like, you, I'm going to call you Giannis. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Kids got good ideas. You got to give him that. You got great You got to give him that. It's good ideas. Absolutely, man. He's got thought Germans have good ideas. Yeah. How long have you guys been Oh, wow. That was just a joke. Depends on what epoch of history, They make cars but you can't just see <laughs> yeah. generally the best cars the best cars i was, the best cars. I was yeah. getting around no yeah. no no yeah. 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 yeah i was just joking around minus a yeah. couple years minus a couple years i'm yeah. not talking about the yeah. No, yeah. 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 but the japanese yeah. got what was fucking coming to him yeah it's but tell them about the unis though the unis i will say that yeah tell them that. i will say i am not you know being of german heritage now you know 40 percent on ancestry.com german heritage i do not support the Nazi ideology. I think what they did was horrible, but yeah. those uniforms were fucking cute. Yeah, you got to admit that. I mean, that. designed by Hugo Boss, yeah. Fry Boots. Yeah. I mean, he they had an eye for nice fashion. Yeah. Uh, shout out Andrew Schultz. Yeah. He'll fucking make a video of this now too because he's the real dictator. <laughs> so, you know, you want to talk about new Hitler, <laughs> AndrewSchultz.com. <laughs> so, <laughs> you ever see how fitted those fucking jo the yeah. jackets? It's no, Hugo the, Boss. The brown Bossman. shirts, you're talking about yeah. the brown shirts? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the, yeah. the red bands, yeah, or the yeah, boots, yeah. the Luft, the hats. The yeah. Luftwaffe. Yeah, they're all that. Yeah, 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 even the British Army, you got the red point. coats. You got a yeah. point. America's enemies have they look pretty look swaggy. At look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look pretty fitted, swaggy. Cute. Absolutely. Look at that. Have yeah. you ever Absolutely. noticed the Nazis? Uh, they there was a uh, there. They had some. As the kids say, they were lit. Yeah, yeah. they were lit. Yeah. Now, yeah. I mean, disgusting ideologies, but really nice fucking uniforms. <laughs> I take a guy like that. I put that coat on. He wouldn't know what hit him. That, yeah. that, that, guy, that uh, kid wouldn't know what. Uh, hit look him. at Himmler. If you go to that last, did Hugo Boss him. really design it? Yeah, Hugo Boss is the true design. Yeah. That's what it is, that, and that's what we talk about a lot on our yeah. podcast, yeah. like yeah. selective outrage and uncomfortable yeah. truths. It's like Hugo Boss designed uh, the uniforms. Mercedes, Mercedes built Benz the, built the tanks, but nobody wants to boycott that. It's like let's just pull down Hugo the Boss built the uniforms. He created Hugo Boss. He was the this how Mercedes made the Nazis' engines. Do you know this? Right. Yes. The reason why you have Hugo Boss thongs and whatever you, whatever you send me pictures of <laughs> those, those Hugo Boss thongs, no, it's, it's, it's because of the no. Nazi. They, they got no. he got the Nazi contract. Yeah, that's the truth. All right, but I, <laughs> I don't know what that part was. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryan, I'll show uh, the pics on camera. I didn't uh, even think about that. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, no, but that's and that's our podcast history, hyenas, where we're like. You know, it's just, it's funny first, but we're talking about history and just like, there's things that happen in history that it's like, you could say whatever you want, whatever woke dope shit, fine, we're all about it, but it's like, let's, on, let's find the truth in history. Yeah. And then we do that. Yeah. So that yeah. But it's funny. It's give us another, fun. give us another one. Like, um, like, uh. Like, what was your biggest episode? Or best? Battle of Crete, maybe. Battle of Crete Battle was Crete a good was episode. A Battle of Same. Brooklyn. Battle of Brooklyn was another Revolutionary one. War. But yeah. then we find things out, like, you know, Christopher Columbus, everyone's like, they were pulling that, they want to want to get the statue out of Columbus Circle uh, in New York City. And it's like, you know, listen, I'm a fucking, I got an Italian last name. I don't really care. It's a fucking statue. But then when we start to look at the atrocities and how many people he killed. It's like, yeah, sure, he killed people. Absolutely, he did. But, you know, smallpox killed the most people. I was going to say. It was that's disease. What that. That's what they did say. But, yeah. you know, you talk to these kids right now, they're like, no, cancel Columbus. Yeah. It's like, just go. That's a beautiful, by the way, you can't take, that be That statue is huge and beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. It, you, you
he was Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, by, by Ferdinand and yeah. And uh, if he was here today, he would fucking come here, he'd discover the country, and then we throw him right back over the wall. Yeah, hundred well, percent. We got a cat. No, kidding. you weren't though, because your eyes got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, it just came. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's um. Yeah, we just, uh, I don't know, Christopher Columbus, and then what else did we find out? You know, Gandhi, everybody loves Gandhi, had 12-year-old wives. It's yeah. just like people want to select whoa, whoa, whoa. what they no, want Gandhi, to Gandhi, Gandhi took track baths. Up. Gandhi did take baths with 14-year-old, yeah. uh, 15, 16-year-old girls. When he, so he was having sex, he wasn't at his mother's deathbed. Okay. And I guess that's what caused him to, to take this vow of celibacy. Right. The idea well, was- Before he that, was, he was freaking out. He would, he was, he did some fucking. He would sleep with- and take baths with, so the legend goes, beautiful young gals to to sort of tempt himself and overcome the temptation. Oh, you don't believe yeah, that? Right? Yeah, yeah, whatever you, you want to say, yeah. babe. I know, better, I know better than that. And he was I, definitely I, fucking I, I would imagine he had to have been fucking him. And I think that's that's a little revisionist history. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's so, like you could. Ju- we've all the all, every everybody in history. If you look deep enough, you're going to find some some you know, fucked up. Martin style. Luther King used to beat the shit out of his wife. It's Correct. like you know that doesn't change anything. White yeah. prostitutes, but it's like what, what what do you want me to do? The, and it's just there's a thousand examples. You it know? doesn't mean that the man. The, yeah. All of us are flawed. Sure. And all of us have dark sides. Does all that make them flawed things. though? Or they, it, they're may, just, it makes them human. They're, they're just human. Yeah. It makes them yeah. human. Yeah. That, but that's my point. It doesn't mean you get rid of him completely. So Picasso, in that that woman who did. Hannah, uh, Hannah Gatsby. Whatever. Sure, Nanette. Yeah, and Nanette, yeah. and she said uh, she basically was calling, basically saying that you cannot separate the man from the art. And Picasso was Picasso, Pica- Picasso, and that we I'm should stick basically one in your Picasso. we should yeah we should dismiss the guy because he treated women un- unfairly. I can't do that. Yeah. But I that. disagree completely. He was a ground, especially back artist. then. Yeah. You can't do it because different different times, man. Like Stephen you, King said this. Stephen yeah. King said Stephen King's a very liberal guy. And Stephen King said. Uh, when you talk about Oscars being so white, that there's definitely an argument and all that. But sure. art shouldn't have diversity actually as a as a as a quota. Art should just be good art, regardless of who creates it. Sure, we don't need to see who creates it. No. it if it's good art, it doesn't matter who it is. Sure, that it should rest on. I'm not looking for diversity in my art. I'm looking for for good it's art. Just good. E- even yeah. Ben Franklin had a bunch of hoes. Man. Of course, yeah. man. Ben Absolutely. Franklin he died was of syphilis. Bon vivant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, he, he used to Ben Franklin I don't think used he to, died of syphilis. I think used to go to that's used exactly to No, I think he died of syphilis. No, that's he, died, he died he died at 84 85. I don't think he was having sex then. So I'm going to have to No, but he no, did hey, he did have syphilis, syphilis, syphilis because it crawls up your spine and starts to eat your brain and then he had lesions. Look, Al Capone. Hey, did he die of syphilis? That what, uh, that's what happened to Al Capone. Al Capone might have and certainly but I don't think But does that mean he had sex like in his in his 80s? And then no, syphilis. He could have just had it. He could have yeah. been for been 20 dormant. years. Wow. <laughs> but he said, yeah, uh, there was no kale juice back then to kill her. Famous for like having syphilis, Franklin oh. likely died of uh, uh, MPM, uh, an yeah. infection of the, the point space is he the died of the chest syphilis, wall. Though, you know? Okay. But yeah. he, okay, so maybe it didn't. There's maybe, no, I, I've, I've right. read enough about it. There was not enough. He was 84. There you go, sir. But he, he did a lot of fucking, though. But I do know that oh, he yeah. would he would make up things, like make up reasons to like get France to have to like go to Paris for like some convention or some treaty that was kind of like bullshit because he was just. He was were, famous in he, Paris. He had, yeah, and, he had, and all the women loved nuts, him. Busted nuts. That's why he's on the $100 bill, baby. Yeah, do you know bro. what he said when he when they were done with the. Con- he was the oldest guy when they drafted the. the something called the U.S. Constitution. Right. And. Never uh, heard of it. The woman said, "What were you doing in there? What did you What did you do in there?" And he said, "We created a republic, madam. If you can keep it, yes, I like it. <laughs> yeah. If you can Fuck. keep it." And then he went like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> suck it, man. He just fucking and, snuck. And it. I went like this. <clears throat> yeah. And when George Washington got word that the the army after the revolution was hadn't slaves, been, huh? he was a badass. Yeah. After well, he freed him too. Yeah, but at the end, at the end of his after uh, after the Revolutionary War, and, and he found out that the army hadn't been paid for a while. Congress was moving very slowly, and he was very afraid there was going to be a coup. Right. And there's a famous story of Franklin who had a flair for the theatrical, and he came up, and he was a he won the he was the general who was revered. Yeah. Right. Revered, Taller than most, they say probably six three, and and but but dressed you know nice, and had a voice and loved well, the theater. Yeah. Always wanted to be an actor apparently, yeah, right. yeah. and got up and he and yeah, he game very game. very dramatically took his glasses uh, and put them on and said, "Forgive me, gentlemen, for I have grown near blind in defense of my country." And the point yeah. was, no one had suffered like Washington with yes. wooden teeth. I love no it. No one. He would. He'd been there the whole time through thick and thin. And if he, he was slaves, there, though. and he gave them a long speech about how government should move slowly, right? And that that is important. And then 
When he decided, when they said, do you want to be you guys king? fucked up talking about history, huh? Yeah, yeah. They tried to make him king. Fun, huh? <laughs> no, we're listening. They tried to make Keep him going. king. They tried to make him king. No, they tried to make him king. Don't clip it. And he said, he yeah. said, I did not fight this revolution war to be George II, because King George, he won. Sure. And when King George found out that he refused to be king, yeah. and would be president at the leisure of the populace. Keep going, B. He said, if he did that, he's the greatest man to ever live. No, 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 stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, B, come about Abe Lincoln. All right. Uh, get out your notepads. He was tall. He could hold an axe out at arm's length. How about, how about, you know what's funny about Abe Lincoln is they don't have any recordings of his voice. So the way he talked real deep, that's all. Hearsay. They have no idea. Yeah. yeah. They have no idea. He, he could have been high pitch. <clears throat> Like he high pitch Eric off Howard Stern. They have yeah. no idea. Yeah, he could have been. He could have sounded no like Michelle Wolf. Clue. Yeah. We just make that up. Yeah. <laughs> you could have sounded like Michelle Wolf. Yeah. 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 She's a sweetheart. She is. Sweet, sweet girl. She's a I yeah. fucking sweet savage. Girl. I yeah. ran into her in New York and she gave me a hug. She's the best. I, I didn't even know. You her. know what? I and saw it at the comedy pretty. store and I got scared and I she looked at me. I was gonna say hi and I got intimidated. Why did you just punch her right in the stomach? No, 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 no. Because she has red hair. Fuck a UFC fight. She has red hair. Get her fucking out there. And she's pretty. She's beautiful. She's Michelle Wolf. She's so smart. Oh, she's yeah. real smart. I like real, real smart. No, she's all you guys podcast. came up together, like Michelle Wolf, Schultz. I did. Uh, Mark Norman. Yeah, all I you came guys. up in the 30s. I'm oh. an old kid. Old oh, kid. No. How yeah. old are you? 44. I Man, look good look though, young. right? He looks yeah. real young. Stefano, how old are you? I'm 35 years old. Oh, you're a kid. I'm a Me and him kid. about the same. Yeah. <sighs> a kid. I came up with yeah, Michelle Wolf, Michael Che, Pete Davidson, all those peeps. I came up with like Nate yeah. Bargatze, Dan Soder. Yeah. That well, generation. First of all, uh, Dan Soder, me and him rival high schools, but we love each other now. Played, Colorado. played against each other yeah. in high school. Mm-hmm. Shout out the Overland Trailblazers. Shout out the Smoky Hill uh, Buffaloes. Anyways. Um, <laughs> the Monkey but, Hill Buffaloes? Uh, <laughs> Smoky Hill. Smoky, Smoky, Smoky Hill. Hill. Battlefield. Okay, Smoky Hill Battlefield. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah sorry. Uh, Nate Bargatze, nicest person I've ever met in comedy. Great. Yeah. yeah. Nate Bargatze's a monster. Yeah, he's a monster. God, yeah. Personally, he's a monster. Yeah. He'll drink your milkshake. Yeah, yeah that's from There Will Be Blood. Yeah. Oh, I know. He'll tell you how many dictator. Yeah, you can't have a conversation with Nate without him telling you how many tickets because he, he sold. Yeah. Nate, will, Nate will bust open his laptop and tell you how many tickets he sold yeah. at a wedding. Yeah. He's sell, okay, so he selling a lot. Sure. He's, you know, he to, to, his, to his point, yeah. though, no, that boy sell, is pushing The kid's tick. selling yeah. tickets. No, the kid, the kid is, is selling tickets, tickets he's like Hitler. Yeah. Fucking cargo pants he, on. Yeah. He's the last one that blew up off Netflix. Like, yes. legit, oh, yeah. like, there's a lot of famous people on there, but we're talking about a guy who literally got on Netflix and was... Yeah. Yeah. People, as soon as people are talking about it, you're yeah. you're good, man. No, See that guy Nate Birdzotzi or whatever, and you're like, I'm there. Yeah, no, he's great. All the but we feel like you know, I mean, L. A. It's like all the podcasting community you guys have. It's like that's the the new shit. Our that's goal is we want to make millions of dollars with our sock with our shoes well, on. Well, shoes well, off. For, for, I mean, everybody's fucking for guys my age who came up. Off. For guys my age who started this twenty years ago, twenty five years ago, 30. it's so interesting to see <laughs> how much the internet has. It's you guys. I envy. You 30 year or something year olds, you well, fucking guys. You can make a living on yeah. such a high level. It used to be back when when you know we were all doing stand up. You didn't make more than five grand a weekend tops. I won't maybe right. oh, I won't ten. The house. Maybe yeah. ten because maybe, but not even then. Because y- you just didn't have access to uh, you know your own marketing. But you it was relied a different time, right? Stuff. It was totally a different, different time. Like I heard, I, heard, totally uh, I forget who it was. Maybe it was. Uh, Forget who the fuck it was. Some old school comedian was just talking about how back then there was like five spots for guys that were moving tickets. Yeah, sure. You had to get on freaking a late night show <laughs> like Carson. And other than that, there was about five guys doing the damn yeah. thing. Now there's so many avenues. And it's like you kind of, you know, you so many funny people are getting discovered and making a living doing yeah. it. Yeah. Just a f- different time. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to nibble the top great. of your ear and watch some blood come out. I'm drinking like a fucking <laughs> protein shake. Which one? <laughs> you looking at this do. one? Or I'm this looking one? at that one because this I know. Because I'm about the tortellini? Because when I see a fucking tortellini like that, I know you're a fighter, and I know that you're going to put up a good fight. But make no mistake, I will nibble that, and I'll get that juice. Yeah. I'll I get would, that fucking please do. It's solid though, it's absolutely. Solid. It's it's, solid. it's hard. It's, it's hard. hard. So right. am I. Oh, no. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> Chris, what? this is not appropriate. <laughs> I, I, I always I'm thought. Not gay. Let me say, <laughs> all right, man. I always thought, and I asked you this, but you said when because you came up in New York doing stand up, and then you came out here. But I always thought the New York guys were like so kind of like almost assholes, and then. And now you guys are out here like Schultz, Norman, out Soder. All you guys are fucking it's more, it's more, nice as fuck. Yeah, yeah. New York, and I don't get why you guys don't work more together. Like well, out we're here, learning that from you. Out guys, here, actually. everybody works. Yeah, like we're we all, yeah. it's an ecosystem. We're learning, yeah, we're learning that, that now. You, yeah. we're, we're, that's why, like, not all our peers, but a lot of you know Schultzies and all those guys, Tim Dillon, who's come out here. That's what we're doing now too. We're like, no, no, what this is. 
We why, all help each other. Yeah. Well, because we learned it from you guys. We yeah. watched you, and then we're like, oh, that's what we should be doing. Yeah. So now that's what we're doing, well, and, it's, and it's only benefiting everybody. Yeah, because New York, New York, and Boston was always as a comic, you were your own. I, I did this joke with uh, Is Rogan. Was sweating profusely or no? <laughs> no. no? What? Take your shirt off. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 I am sweating so hard. Uh, but, but with Rogan and I, Must we did our first meat though. eater. Was how long ago? Probably five years 17 ago. Seventeen years ago. How long was that? Five first meat eater. Six years ago. Whatever. And I and Rogan said, "Hey, man." He said, well, you and I are representing comics now. And I, and I went, yeah, you know that unified bunch. And yeah. he started laughing because we, nobody was. Right. But I will say that Rogan. It I, took I, a dictator. Like, I don't mean to say dictator. Yeah. But it took a, a, a fucking team captain like Rogan and be like, yeah. hold up. Nobody's going to be mean to these new comics. No, it's no. not doggy. They're our friend. They're here to do a job. Sure. Everyone be fucking cool. Don't bump somebody for two hours. No. no. You know, I that's what happens a little that. in New York. I've never yeah. done that. That, that, that doesn't happen here anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. No, we, yeah, well, we know. Like in New York. <laughs> I mean, Cal will bump a few guys, but whatever. Never, yeah. never. But never. that was because the never. system was like there was only a couple spots, so everybody had to compete for those couple spots. And now it's like a speedboat era where you build your own boat and just zip around. I, I think I think Rogan uh, is obviously, he's at his level, so you're going to do what the most success, successful guy's doing. He's he, His thing is be nice. There's room for everybody, yeah. sure. so everyone follows that. But Ari Shafir, when he left L.A., who was a comic store door guy, blew up as a comedian. He's so talented. Then went to New York and was like, "What are you guys doing? Why are you guys yeah. so mean to each other?" I know. Like, Ari's really people don't think about. It's always but Ari's been one of the New York guys. Yeah, Boston flavor, though, right? right. Yeah, it it's is. always been like, "Fuck it's, you!" You're like, "Who's like, the fucking Bill, best here? Who's Bill the fucking Burr, best?" Like nobody competition Burr, yeah. thing. It's just it's always been New York has Here's been a place that doesn't put up with nonsense. Oh, for sure. And so. But think, but think about this. Cynical. Think, but at Burr's age and success, think how many comics Burr helps now. Yeah. Besides Rogan, there ain't no one even close. Think about all the shit I Burr know. does for comics. I yeah. know. He's all got a whole Comedy shit. Central show out yeah. helping comics. Yeah. yeah. It, it, he does so much stuff for I know. comics. He launched all, you know, his his own network. Yeah. He helps comics. But I like think most comedians in New York City now, we know that, you know, or at least the ones that we hang out with, like, we get it. Like, we're like, yeah, of course, you know, but I don't think we were ever really like that like we just are late to the podcast game in the sense like i was well, i don't think i don't never show Giannis be mean to anyone i have oh my mother and father always like just treat everybody the same yeah. like i remember i i had a manager when i first started and he like treated this waitress like a fucking third class citizen oh, and i was out. like you're out i don't yeah i don't yeah. care what you can get from me i don't want to be around that that's disgusting yeah, to me. Yeah. like i didn't learn that i didn't, you, yeah. I didn't grow up like that so so i think now it's starting to be like hey let's all help each other because it's like you know i, f I feel like in the new york like you said it's being cynical like even when Andrew first started like, you know, YouTube and all that, and he's fucking crushing it. And me and Giannis like, yeah, this Schultz is great. We're like on Team Schultz, like, go get it. You know, you go to the comedy cell and people are like, well, really, YouTube? It's like, yeah, really, YouTube. That's the new fucking network. Like, yeah. what are you worried about, CBS still? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No. Nobody cares, man. Yeah. You know? The business has changed so much. Yeah. And, and, and people still don't get it. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah. But no. also what Schultz is doing is also brave because he's putting content out there that he can't. So he's posting content. Then that next city he goes to, he mm -hmm. can't use that same shit. He's posting new content. Hell like this. yeah. So, so anyone right. hate on him? Anyone hate on him? Keep up. Yeah. Try, yeah. try doing oh, yeah. that. You guys, you know how hard it is. Come up with new content that you're gonna post to sell tickets. Yeah, it better be good. I love he it. He does no, it every week, every month. I love that's it. That's how much he's writing. Absolutely. Keep up, motherfuckers. Yeah, we fucking. If you're no, gonna we hate are hanging him. off his scrotum. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody. We're, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, dude. We know. We. we I know. only see Schultz right now. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> um, I know. So, yeah. Yeah. But man. all you guys are. Killing it's exciting. It. All, We're trying. Well, I mean, our the podcast. Our podcast has like grown really like a lot in the past. Like two three months and now we're hoping after all this stuff it continues to grow because i mean our fans you know it's nowhere near the amount of downloads or fan base you guys have but the loyalty is crazy like we sold out the gramercy theater in new york at on a midnight show you know like we everywhere we go now tickets are sold it's loyal 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 fan base yeah. so it's fucking great because it's yeah. like you know you're talking to these people for an hour two hours a week every week it's like it's almost like a family member they're like oh i'm gonna come they support know you. you i know you they'll come up to me like how's your daughter i'm like whoa, whoa. but also you guys are funny you know it, it, it's, how, it's many, funny, how many people way. try it how many people try sure. it? Yeah. the reason sure. why it works for you guys you guys are fun. it's also it's also doing stand-up for 10 15 years how long have you been doing it i've been doing stand-up i started in 2009 so to perfect started years? headlining in 2014 10 years oh uh, yeah, 10 years so you've been headlining for since six. 2014 i was a pediatric physical therapist and then i and then i left that to do uh to do comedy which was wild in the beginning what about you honest 2005 so like yeah it yeah. was like 15 16 there you go. years ago. yeah and, and your special on then, youtube's a beast man thank you i watched man. it the other day thank that's you. really blowing good, the light man. schultz produced that yep. he produced and directed it. that yeah so yeah. thanks it's on youtube if you want yeah. to check it out yeah we got a nice diverse episode we got mo amir who's a muslim american um, we got Al Jolson, 
uh, who was the who was the originator of uh, the blackface? Yeah, um, in the nineteen uh, twenties. Neil deGrasse, deGrasse Tyson. Grass Tyson? Yeah. Came on your podcast? Neil deGrasse yeah. Tyson was on our podcast. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's just a random. He likes history and he's, yeah. he's heard us and he went wild. He told us that Neil deGrasse Tyson told us if you put Jeff Bezos's money, if you laid Jeff Bezos's money out in cash, it would stretch from planet Earth to the moon back and forth eight times. Yeah, that's how much money. That's how much has. money that huh? kid has. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's that's got a lot of money. Has in fucking cash, yeah. baby. It's ridiculous. Huh? Sorry, yeah. Yeah. that's ridiculous. Oh, you, you, got boy, you got our boy yeah. Santino on. Andrew yeah. Santino's been on. Burr, yeah. Burr came on, and Bill he came, Burry came on. Burr Jim wanted Gaffigan. to come on, I think, to help us. I mean, it was so nice. He just yeah, came on. Burr. Yeah, yeah. Bill Burr, Jimmy Gaffigan, uh, Harry Crusades. Tubman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we had Harry Tubman. Harry Tubman. How was that? Harry Tubman on. Was it Julia Roberts though in blackface? No, no, it was Harry. It was Harry. We had Harry Tubman. Bloomberg News. Check it out. I have to stop you guys. I, I, I just have trouble. Believe like you're paranoid kid. We had the actress who played Harriet Tubman. No, we had Harriet Tubman. We had Harriet Tubman. Tubman. We had Harriet Tubman, we had Harriet Tubman on, and then she her might... brother came on, and yeah. he had he was like you know like Buffalo Bill. He had his dick and balls between his legs, and he was calling himself Harriet Tuckman. Yeah, and he was there too. <laughs> yeah, I'm having wow. trouble. Yeah, yeah. How old is she now? Skeptical she man. Harriet Tubman's a 201 <laughs> years old. He doesn't she believe anybody. Ryan, she does fucking keto. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, A podcast where you got accused of lying so many times. I'm sorry, I'm not. He questions everything. I mean, man. the fuck, I, I, man. I know, dude. I, I, just you know go with it, bro. Does he not look like an honest guy to no, you? No, he does. I'm yes. just, he's been I'm honest just, since he walked in the, the door. Fuck. He walked in here eating rice patties. I'm skeptical. And kissing me on the neck. I mean, what kind yeah, of host I, is I kissed that? a UFC fighter right on the neck. Yeah. I take chances. And then you man. insulted our Asian <laughs> brethren over here. I didn't right? insult them. I love the Asians. I fucking love Asian people. You said they shouldn't be allowed to vote or something. I can't remember. I didn't say they shouldn't be allowed to vote. I don't want spread rumors. I didn't say they should be allowed to vote. Didn't you have a, and I dug it, you had a, was it a show or was it like a pre-show on Comedy Central? I had a show. Yeah, that's that's a, that's, that's why I discovered you. That's great about that's what's great about you know I signed a whole huge uh, deal, nice exclusive deal with Comedy Central. It was great. I appreciate it so much, and they put me on a, on an interstitial show for five minutes every other Friday night at eleven thirty. So go. it was great. The exposure was fucking fantastic. Yeah. It was a good show, though, but it was weird. I, I it thought was, I thought it was like a lead in to the main show. So yeah, it'd show you talking. No, then they'd play like Tosh Point oh. Yeah, and I was like, all right, well, no, it's called fuck's stupid questions. Coming here? I had an hour long special on Comedy central called size 38 waist so that that was out are you a 38 i'm a 38 now but now i got a new special coming out on comedy central it's called size 36 waist that's a wide yeah. waist <laughs> yeah so my, i'm gonna have, my goal at the end of my career is to have five specials all my waist sizes <laughs> he's got, yeah. he's got really. he has a uh, he has like an abnormally wide ass i got a lunch lady ass he, has, do? he really does yeah, yeah i got an llla yeah. but that, that's not check, a bad check thing it, it might like, be good for power LLA. he's got a fat might be good ass for power. let me see <laughs> Is that yeah? <laughs> well, you got a oh, you got a fucking flat. foil, <laughs> yeah. dude. You got, you got a foil a, on it. Yeah. You got a flat you ass, a bro. Little, you, you also have a. Uh, is that a mole? Or? Is that legal? What he's doing? Okay, that's probably it's a wart on my ass. I got a, no. It's a full. It's a full general wart on my ass. Dude, <laughs> right. you might want to hit uh, some dead. Sorry about that. Man. Or is that okay? Yeah, I apologize. Let's I, I should have thought about. Uh, there but was your ass is your ass looks like it's made for power, though. You can hit a ball. I don't think so. My ass is made for white power. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just kidding around. Ah, shit, man. Chris, Chris, I don't. No, man, you said I'm that joking. with conviction. <laughs> no, I'm no, you you no, have to no, ask no, to no, make no, sloppy no, joes. No, yeah, I got, yeah, I got, a, I got a skin tag on my ass, yeah. and uh, you know, but but the thing is with me is I'm friendly with my present now. I've been reading a lot of Eckhart yeah. Tolle, so I'm friendly with my present, yeah. and I don't think about shit. Too. If it's not going to matter in five months, I don't give it more than five minutes. I'm going to pull my ass and balls out. I'll pull them out. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to matter. Babe. Wherever you are, there you are. Yeah. Exactly. You just yeah. you stay friendly with your present and you do it. Yeah, and you know. I just saw, uh, yeah, it felt good. It felt good to breeze out my eye. I farted before and it just felt good to breeze it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah breeze you know? it out. But, but it's the, nice. the Comedy Central is not there. Are you done Comedy with that? Central, I'm doing, the second, I, I'm doing the second hour special. We're going to film it in June in Chicago. And then, and then, uh, and then I have an uh, animation show uh, in development. And uh, listen, I, uh, you know, when we, we're on, I'm on phone calls with them now, developing the show, but I know how it goes now. I'm just, you know, I'm all about the podcast and I got my two feet in this new digital world. I absolutely want to get stuff on Comedy Central. I love them, but it's like whatever they want me to do. You know, they're calling me, they're like, how do you feel about the subjective truth of your character? I'm like, what do you want? Who do you want me to voice to get Hassan Minaj? You want me to be transgender? What the fuck do you want me to do? Just put on, have Aquafina do it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay? me, Nobody's going to watch the show. So <laughs> yeah. let's just give me the money, yeah. put it in my pocket, do your fucking cartoon, cancel it, because whatever the fuck you want to do, guy, I'm doing the podcast and that's where my ticket sales are coming from. Boom. So I'm just trying to, you know, you listen to How these many things. people actually, you would know this more. I don't hear people talking about Comedy Central at all anymore. No. David Spade show does 
does well on there. Does well. out. It, it just got uh, renewed for I think another twenty episodes. Yeah, I think I can say that it, that got renewed. Yeah, it's a great uh, place great. to hide your special if you want to yeah. hide it. Do it yeah, on Comedy it Central. Is. Yeah, it is. Well, so here, here's the problem. Yeah. Like our boy Ian Edwards had special on there. I was on the road. I wanted to see it, and it aired whatever on Friday night. Can't and then I was it. like, you know, then I, I had my shows. And I got done. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm looking. For, I can't. That's can't a find huge it. Huge problem. Look, it was one of those That's decisions. I had to, when they came with me for the, with the deal. I, you know, I got a daughter. I, I'm a where I co-parent. It's like I, I'm t raising a family here, so I'm like I got to do this to make the money. But I'm aware. Like I promote it as much as I can. But I'm I'm realistic. It's like nobody's really going to watch it Friday at midnight. But hopefully the digital streams yeah. get up. But even if it doesn't, all I really care. All I'm even thinking about for my specials. I don't care about the arc of the hour. I mean, even if it was on Netflix. I mean, who can even watch an hour anymore in this ADHD? Everyone society? cuts off at uh, uh, 26. Minutes. So all I'm thinking about is. is Name, name a comic they cut off at twice. 60 minute special. I'm just thinking about how many one minute Instagrammable clips or two minute, three minute IGTV clips can I have that those will get shared around. But would it be smarter because we know, according to Netflix stats, that most people, they don't, they'll watch the full hour, but they don't do it in one sitting. Right. They cut off after 26 minutes. So I was talking to Burt Kreischer about this. He goes, they once they gave me those analytics, my closer, I put it at the front. Because I know I have to hit them in the fucking ah, mouth at the top. Because they're yeah. not a lot. The the majority seventy percent is not going to make it to my closer. Sure. So I'm, you hit them right in the fucking mouth at the front. Yeah. And it might go a little further, but either way, they leave going. Damn, he was a beast. He was great, even though they only saw 10, 15 minutes of it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Smart. It's very smart. It but wouldn't it be? We know these analytics, right? We know these. An Why aren't people doing shorter specials? Why, I, why are people doing thirty? Because I, I think it's conditioned thinking. It's the same reason when you go to a comedy club and they're like, you know giving check spots out when it, it's the only show of the night or there's oh, I know, it's no, insane. No, well, it's on the like road you're doing an hour because you have to right yeah. and, right. and, and you're doing an hour and 15 whatever because that people come to see a show but, but, right. I'm not talking yeah. about that yeah. so if people about, sit like get a get a babysitter right sure. they, they fucking go yeah. to dinner they pay for parking yeah. you gotta give them what they're due right. you gotta give no, them an hour people, but I'm saying yeah. with Netflix with uh, Comedy Central Showtime where the minutes, fuck you're on yeah. if we know the analytics are 27 minutes why the fuck is everybody doing that? Here's my question. I don't know. Here's my question. Yeah. If you did a half hour, do you think people would turn off at 15 minutes? Well, they're doing, but Netflix you know is saying? doing that. The 15 minute Show, specials. Uh, Comedy Central is doing that. The, they're, the short Comedy ones. Central is doing, they're going to do 10 minute bits, seven, yeah. like 10 minute killer, 10 minute sets. Yeah. Netflix is doing 30 minute specials. Yeah. I've heard of 20 minute specials. People are, they're, now they're opening up to it. I Look, think for us, all that matters is that a lot of people watch it and so we can sell tickets that's on it. the But road. here's the thing, and we think about what Schultz is doing, what a lot of us are doing is when you post a clip that's six minutes long, yeah. that clip is going to sell more tickets for you than sure. by your hour. Absolutely. Because yeah. that, because that, you may not need to do a good bit like you, I, I, the, I was laughing at a little 11. bit you were doing about uh the way your uh girl talks oh yeah my baby kid's mom yeah phenomenal oh thank so you, you take so you take that and you post that that's going to sell more tickets sure, of than course. your hours of you know course. what crazy is that? you may not need a fucking hour for me i swear to god what i care about is selling as many tickets as I can. that's what i get that's yeah. that, and that's why i'm thinking that's where that, the money is that's why but I said we're all but we're all stuck in this ah, i gotta get an hour of this place this place this place like yeah if you're Chappelle or you're rock or yeah. you're rogan or you're burr and you know paper tiger and they're paying you 40 million to produce that hour do it already selling arenas and stadiums and you're kevin hart that makes sense I just if you're these other guys, I, I don't know. I and I'm not saying I have the answers. I'm not saying don't shoot hours. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying when I look at the analytics, I'm like, I don't know, man. We agree. Isn't it ironic how like the farther technology's come, the more it's sort of come back full circle to the beginning? Like now the live performance is the special thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because it's so easy to see somebody on a screen anywhere. It's so common that like now talk radios back with podcasts. So true, dude. And because then, like, people yeah. want to get to know the the personality yeah. the yes. they want because because everything's instant and like everything's on screens and yeah there's so, the, every, there's so much po podcasts yeah. have changed so you see it like, live rogan always says podcasts like people pounds. don't need to people, <laughs> what's that? i don't i'm just sweating you are yeah i'm, 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 I'm gonna towel you down in a second. Shoes and socks <laughs> give me, give me, a, give me a small towel you yeah. Go. You want me to be that yeah. towel? Yeah, I want you. To <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? I, I, I'll do it. I guess I do now. I'll be the small towel. Wait, what what are we gonna, gonna save? Best looking man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I'll kiss you on the lips. Soft. He just got fun. lost in your eyes. Look at him. Babe, He's lost. You want to get strapped out right now? He's straight. <laughs> me. What were you saying about Sorry. Rogan? <laughs> um, Rogan. Rogan. Fucking um, said. Well, what, what a lot of guys say is when they write a book. It used to be you had to go through. Uh, first of all, you write a book. Your publisher wants you to write a much longer book than you need to. That's the, the secret in publishing. It's got to be 300 pages or whatever, for whatever reason. So now you sell that book. Now you go on a book tour. 
You do one episode of Rogan. These people get their idea from that book across. First of all, you don't really have to read the book usually. Second of all, more people hear about that book than, about than in 10 years. Yeah. Than in 10 years. Well, anybody from Sam Harris to Neil deGrasse Tyson, these are public sure, intellectuals that, sure. that make their living selling books. They do one episode of they know Dad, Rogan. They know Daddy's going to sell One episode, books. and they sell more books from that three hours than they do in 10 years. I mean, I'm talking about, I think it was Sam Harris talking about, he's, he sells, he's a bestseller. He goes, I, I can sell more books in, you know, in this three hours than I do in oh, 10 Bubba, years. Bubba, how do you think On It was created? Yeah. They were doing all right, and then they came on Rogan and Alpha, like, yeah. Yeah. Of course. So, but, but, you know, we talk a lot about Rogan. Oh, you guys, whatever. He ha literally has the big, name a show. 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 show. Oh. Yeah. It's the biggest show on the planet. Yeah. Sure. We know and that. You Is and it I. bigger than Stern. It's bigger than. Yeah. Oh, Bubba. Not really? even close. It's bigger than Kimmel. It's bigger than. Not. Even, not hold on. Not. They're not in the same fucking lanes. Huh. As, as far as straight up. Eyes, ear balls? Yeah. It's not even the same. It's not even Again, the same. Again, name a fucking No, show. he is the biggest. Oh. Also, I, he's my boy, so I defend him, but yeah. this is just numbers. He's, no, he's not know that. Him and yeah. Stern? Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. You guys are answering. Stern, Stern's on PBS compared to <laughs> yeah. him. That, that serious yeah. stuff? Yeah. That's all bullshit. What? Yeah. What? What? All those numbers, all that. Well, we could tell. Well, name, name, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's one for you. Name last time someone went, dude, you hear that Stern interview? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No. Yeah, you no, got no, you're I, right. I did it. Shit, you New York pieces of shit. <laughs> Bro, Sorry, man. And I'm a stern fan. You can only tell. No, you're not. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't know, man. No, you're fucking not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry, we're getting. <laughs> this is getting contentious Imagine, right now. Yeah, no, um, I, I agree with you, and I can see it. Oh, you, We can see it from our own ticket sales or from our own social medias. When you do serious, I mean, you don't get a single follower. I mean, no, it's like it's like you That's set true. it into your fucking toilet bowl. So true. But when you do these podcasts, like I'm sure, you know, hopefully the fans like us, they're gonna the numbers it. jump. Yeah, they're gonna and then it. it's like the tickets jump. So it's like, we, it's so obvious. Like, it's not even, a, we, you wouldn't have to give us a millisecond of, we would know right away if it's between Joe Rogan or The Tonight Show. It's like, yeah, you just, if it's between the fighter and the kid in The Tonight Show, you go on The Fighter and the Kid. Yeah. If you want to sell tickets, yeah. I'm not saying I'm anti-Tonight Show, but I it's like, it's we want to sell tickets yeah i think close. it's the industry trying to just convince people that people are still watching tv when nobody's watching yeah. TV. Oh, dude i do nobody's I do, watching but, but this is what they yeah. sorry B, I don't no, I'm, I'm you. but this is what so like on jimmy kimmel or uh, jimmy fallon or uh um who, who's the who's the big british guy uh, uh james corden james, james corden, corden who i yeah, love he's, he's straight all yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, <laughs> no, he's straight man i yeah. transgender fans yeah. all uh, all they do all they do is do they do segments <laughs> To upload the next morning, because no one's watching that. Yeah. They do segments to yeah. upload so they get yeah. the digital yeah. carpool karaoke. Okay. Yeah. My my All show, right. my well, show, pay for my it. show yeah. is right, the, right. my show. We just got numbers, and I did, Sony executive is downstairs. My show on ABC is, I think, the second biggest it's show huge. right now. It's huge. Brian sells and ten I'm, tickets, and I'm very happy to do it. It doesn't help me yeah. one Not iota selling tickets. Of course, yeah. if I didn't have this, I'd be a dead man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, th and that's why I only take eighty percent. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we saw, we saw my it. entire Gian, idea. Giannis and I saw it. Well, Giannis saw it, especially in like 2012, 2013. He had a really 2011. huge. 2011. 2011. He was one of the first guys to hit it on YouTube. He had a huge character, Mauricio Rodriguez. That's it. It was. He went fucking viral in New York. And now, and then at that time, I remember when you, and you said this, we were at Caroline's, he was headlining Caroline's. And at that time, Chris D'Elia wasn't what he was now because he's now, it's obviously he's fucking humongous act now. But at that time he was on Whitney, the, a sitcom yeah. yep. and the rooms weren't even close to, he didn't sell half the tickets yeah. Giannis sold. And it, Giannis was adding shows because wow. it was just YouTube now in 2011. Now look at Chris. And now, but Chris now. went Snapchat. Very cool. I was going to say. Vine too. He got Vine, big on Vine. Vine. Because, yeah. you know, Vine. And you, we were watching Chris last night. It's like, he's fucking murdering on stage. So you get it. But it's like, but, and then it's, and it's like, yeah, he's an amazing standup. But it's like, the One reason the why he's packing the arenas is because it's like. The internet. The internet. Yeah. It, it was the internet. It, it's yeah. the internet. Yeah. But, but also the internet went, oh my God, whatever Chris does, that's a funny bit. But then when you see him, like, holy fuck, yeah. this I, dude's ridiculous. I, but so then it's like word of mouth. And then Chris goes, oh, you like that video? Then yeah. he posts something else. Then he gets on the Eminem uh, rap video. I was going to say, then, like, I've, wa I've went I'm back and watched. fucking sure. Yeah. I've watched back. I went back and watched Chris D'Elia's Instagram clips to Eminem things or the thing where he was, you know, where he, you know, he's doing uh, when he was uh, those Laurel Yanni sounds from last year. I watched it a thousand times. I've watched your videos when, um, you know, you're driving through the mountains of Utah with your kids. I've watched it a thousand times. I've jerked off. 
stuff that to all your funny. fights. What? Yeah. I've done all that stuff. Yeah. I've jerked off to every No, I'm not saying I've jerked off in your content. He likes the way you move. I'm saying your content. But I'm saying I've watched them all. And so, but I'm a fan of you guys because I don't listen to the podcast that much because I don't have the time. I'm trying to, I'm on Grinder and all that shit. But I'm saying, but I'm saying that I'm not gay. I'm not fucking gay. You're trying to catch the bug, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm out here bug chasing. You're a bug chaser. I'm a bug chaser. And I, yeah, I'm a bug chaser and I got to go to fucking Banco Popular and all that for my Puerto Rican family. And, oh, man, and, are you um, being metaphorical again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 no, but it's all good. I love a Puerto Rican. So horny. And, um, I'm yeah, confused. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, and, but my point is that I consume your guys' stuff. I'm like, I'm a fan. I know what you guys are doing because I'm watching your social medias. You know, I'm not at the live shows or, and when I, t at times I, when I do consume your podcast, it's through the clips. Yeah. And I think that's great. That's yep. like what most what's people next? are. What's next? What happens in five years, 10 years? What, well, I wonder what's going on. We're all working at Subway. 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 North Korea blew the entire thing up. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah. We've made it yeah. to the end. You, made it to the end. You're There's probably cocaine not and alive. sushi everywhere. We did it. This I'm is probably, as good I'm as it gets. You're probably not alive. Yeah. Probably uh, you know what? I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I feel like hey, I'll, li I'll let you know. I feel like I'll live when longer. I see you up there. <laughs> I'll let <laughs> you know. Daddy almost got an accident driving back from Manhattan Beach and saw myself a whale. Saw myself a whale. Did uh, you know this? What kind of whale? Blue whale? <laughs> I don't know, but I saw this giant whale and it went. <laughs> And I went, I was on the phone with Krill, and I go, Baba, I'm looking at a whale right now. Yeah. Right. 60, though. You've seen some whales. And then it came, and then it came back up, and I, I almost ran into a fucking divider. And I <laughs> right. And rightfully so, fucking though, man. Unbelievable. Whales right. are beautiful. Yeah. I almost and they ran. should be killed, yep. whales, because they're Absolutely. Good for, because we Harpoon eat them. oil. You yeah, eat their oil. Yeah, and they I'd carry kill rabies. all the whales. Oh, they carry rabies. <laughs> Absolutely, I do. I don't yeah. know. I think that, yeah. And yeah, kill, a kill whale, them all. A whale. A fucking whale, huh? A fucking whale, man. They're all in ISIS. Yeah. Yeah. They're, cool, get rid to, of them. they're cool to see, though. It's really They are cool to see. Who cares? It was really wild to see that. It was 100 feet off. You know, it's nice, but it's like, let's move on. You know, we got fucking VR and shit. Yeah. A the virtual reality. I could watch. He goes, it. Yeah. He goes, it's exactly what I was. He goes, yeah, they are nice to but who cares? I, mean, yeah. I, mean, right? I, hit him, I hit him with this story. I, I tell him, I go, <laughs> and the guy was in, in, in Santa Cruz. I've been telling this. You ever tell a story? You've been telling a story since, I don't know, since you were 15. And, yeah. And then and everything I've, I've said tell, for the past hour. I've been hour. telling this story. Yeah. I've been telling this story. I was like this. I was like, and the guy was paddling and a great white came up, put him in his mouth <gasps> all the way to his hips and then spit him back out. Now remember, he's dead serious, so he's telling me this. I've I'm told like, the story a thousand times because I heard it from somebody a long time ago. Do okay. I remember who? No. No. But it's true. It's true. And, and Brennan goes, Jesus, that's crazy. And then we're talking, <laughs> and he goes, hey, but um, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what? It's and he goes, I, lie. And I was like, no, because I was told... And you got to do an inventory of the stories you tell because we tell stories sometimes and we forget where we heard them and they're yeah, true, yeah. but they're probably not yeah. true. There's like a guy in my neighborhood, we call him Showtime, and he tells fucking wild stories and like, yeah. And then I was telling this story once to my dad and you know he, this guy was telling the story in the neighborhood for 10 years and I'm like, yeah, Showtime said one time he punched a hole in a wall and he, behind the wall he put a fucking Mickey Mantle rookie card <laughs> and he pulled it out and he has, he has a Mickey Mantle, rookie, Mickey Mantle rookie card. And my dad was like, that's not true. It was like, no, it is. Dollars, yeah. He punched a hole in the wall and there was a Mickey Mantle the rookie card behind it and he's like no it's not true Chris <laughs> and I'm like oh I thought it was yeah it's I know such a <laughs> great example yeah, it is. <laughs> wait what but do you ever yeah. think of uh, stories your dad told you I think the stories my dad told yeah. me when I was younger and now alive. I'm older I'm like Oh, he was full of shit. Yeah, that never lie. happened. Dude, yeah. There's stories yeah. my dad told me that it were definitely 100%. lies, but then my mother does not lie. And some of the stories she tells me about my dad, I'm like, what? Because my dad was nuts. He was like a criminal. Is he alive? He's alive. He's alive, but he was like a fucking. He's my dad. Here's, here's the kind of guy my dad is old school guy, you know, like Bronx guy, Italian. organized crime type shit, you know, in and out of jail when I was a kid, you know. And he's 75 years old now. He's a diabetic. You know, he, fuck, he almost died actually the day after Christmas. This guy ate half a tray of lasagna. Like four cannolis, oh, I love it. three cups of coffee, yeah. penny vodka, Fuck and yeah. and then you know I'm just watching me, but then I'm like I got to step in. I'm like Dad, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I didn't know I had a gay son. And I'm like, okay, dude, but <laughs> so, also, but also, you know? let him do his thing, bro. <laughs> let him do his thing, though. You yeah. know. And then fucking three hours later, we're in the ER with him, and he's gurgling. I'm like, hey, who sounds gay now? You fucking gargling. <laughs> oh, that's true. Is that just a heart failure? Yeah. <laughs> oh I swear God. to God. But my dad he used to tell me stories. I'm like, no way. But there's one story. And my mom confirmed it. So when my mom, my dad is not a great looking guy. I mean, you honestly, he looks, he looks like, like Barney Rubble. Rubble. Yeah. So, you know, and my mother's a beautiful woman. She went to an Ivy League school and, you know, they met at a walkathon 
and my mom was walking the walkathon, raising money for like a great cause, and my dad was doing community service on the side of the walkathon, prison work release, and they wanted to, <laughs> ha she wanted to have like a fling with the bad boy, and they had me. So my mom's kind of stuck with this guy now, and they were at Central Park. My mother was 21 years old when she had me. So they were at Central Park. How old was your dad? My dad, my mother was 21 when she had me, and my dad was 38. So my Hell dad, yeah. yeah, he's an older kid Hell now, yeah. my dad. Yeah. So, so they were laying down in Central Park and my mom was like seven months pregnant and she had like a blanket over her and my dad in the middle of the fucking day gets up to take a piss behind a tree in the middle of Central Park. So he's, my mom's just sitting there like reading a book and Dan Aykroyd was rollerblading by or roller skating by and, uh, and he started hitting on my mother and my dad chased Dan Aykroyd like down a lane at Central Park with a fucking twig yeah. with his piss dick. It's the height of fame, Dan <laughs> yeah. Aykroyd. The height of fame. And then my mom was like, no, that's Blues true. Brothers. Yeah. I was like, what? Holy shit, and it's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy. So did your dad catch him? Beat the shit out of no, him? No, no, no. He skated away, in like a conehead. In, in Florida, in Florida, <laughs> yeah. in Florida, I'm at a strip club with a with a fucking cop SWAT guy and some MMA fighters. They okay. take me. You got to come to the strip club. We have it locked down. How long goes this? Be I need. I don't know. Reference. Probably, probably. I don't know. Six years ago, I don't like strip clubs. But, but, but before before you met me, no. Uh, I think it was during. It was probably when I met. I knew you. Okay. And um, yeah. I'm doing stand-up. It might have been, Bob. It might have been like, I would say, right when I met you. Okay. And, um, yeah. and so I'm, and I'm there, and I watch this pot. bouncer, yeah. this big fucking bouncer. There's a what fight. Color? White, black? A fight white. Italian. I need more. Italian. 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 What thick, color eyes? Thick. What color eyes? Oh, God. Uh, this story's made up, so blue. Did you take his shirt on or shirt off? He, he had his shirt on, hem off. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, so Fuck, he, man. I watched the dude take this dude this other guy big guy and he puts him in this hold and his face didn't change nothing on his face changed right but it was a violent situation and he put him in this thing and he's grabbed him. but he's acting up in the strip club yeah There's and this context, bouncer dude. this bouncer so these guys are fighting these guys are about to fight okay okay over a, then they over lock a up they lock up i don't know what the fuck it was two tables okay lock up this guy walks over and i i, I was struck with how easy his, his face didn't move right he grabs the guy and they yank him out like that I get to talk to him because he comes over and he knows one of the guys we're with. Right. And I say to him, we start talking, and I say, you you didn't seem to, like your face, that seemed like such order of the day. That was a scary situation. That guy was big. Right. And it looked rough. And right. I, I, I got nervous. Yeah. And he said, he said no, I don't, uh, violence never gets me going at all. I was raised differently. And I go, do tell. Yeah. I go, what, what was your dad? Uh, what? And he goes, well, my dad's in prison for life. My dad was a wise guy. He was, right. He was a killer. Right. And I go, oh, and he tells me a story about how, <laughs> you know, you talk about stories. Whether this is true or not, there's the one time I'll I believe him. I'll he goes, he goes, my right dad, now. my dad was a wise guy. He had a comic book store that was right. kind of like part of the, right. you know, the how they, yeah. And he said, I was 12 years old and I would, I would, I, after school, I'd be with my dad in the comic book store. Right. Working or whatever. And a fucking two guys walked in and my dad they walked in my dad looked in and pulled out a shotgun and shot both of them one of them he blew his fucking head off that never right happened. that never happened so then he my dad looked at me and goes go get a mop oh yeah <laughs> hey hey, hey. <laughs> mm -mm. Nah. at a comic book store yeah mm -hmm. and, the, and but they came in to kill him and he killed yeah, those guys i don't think so. they were wild. <laughs> so he said he said that was what i remember that was my childhood right yeah and i i actually believe that guy I don't. I don't not believe him. I believed him because he worked in that one of those mob. I don't. I don't he worked believe in one him. of those mob strip clubs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And he got his could, fucking could he head name comic up. books? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I didn't. I didn't grill him on it. I just sometimes you hear. See, a story I would, I would have some and questions. Like, you know. Go get a mob. So that's also a scene out of Natural uh, Born Killers. But whatever. Oh, it you is. know, to each its own. <laughs> it's yeah. a good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. I believe. I I believe it. I mean, yeah. Mafia guys. That story never happened. I made it up. But the point is, no, that's what it. No. Hey, but who cares? That's the thing. I mean, reality is a suggestion. It's a suggestion. Who cares what the truth is? I don't know, dude. I mean, it doesn't matter. No, but it does. What is? I fucking identify as a transgender Eskimo. What do you want me to say? You can't deny. If I want to do that and go, what are you going to say to me? That's what I want to fucking do. I want to. I'm an Inuit. I want to live in an igloo, and I want to get re. I want to get sexual reassignment surgery and live in the Canadian fucking. Tell him no. Gender reassignment. It's not sexual reassignment. You got to say gender reassignment. Certainly. Whatever it is, but I'm just saying I support all that. Those are my fans. Yeah. Oh wow, fancy socks today, B. Yeah, bro. Put a, put your feet in my mouth. Hey, you know your sellers are different, man. Hey, foot hey, right hey Brendan, right in my mouth. Brendan, go get a mop. <laughs> <laughs> go get a fucking. I'll mop. smell all these shoes right now. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. more of those. You're good. Dude, Should I'm, we do yeah. some current events? Yeah. Sure. Wait, hold on. Let me ask you this: right. you guys, you UFC fans? Yes. Yes. 
You got to how, you, hold, on, got? hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not me, big though. How, how big? How big? Uh, not big. He's big. He's I like big. it. Yeah. How big? What, what, give me your list. Of your favorite fighters. Uh, I love. Uh, what's um? <laughs> this is not a good start. We're good. It's not <laughs> a good start. Right. Right. On the Rousey. <laughs> now go ahead. Who's That's the guy that beat good. beat Mighty Mouse? I like that kid. Hey, I Henry Cejudo. Cejudo. I like him. He's a good kid. Yeah. yeah, I like him. I like Dominic Cruz, who's a good fighter. Yep, man. I liked him. Two years. I got to admit, I like McGregor. I do like McGregor. I like McGregor. He's, He's a star. Yo, yeah. I'll tell you what. I went out one night at an after a New York Knicks game with um Stopix S Stepe Stepe the kid from Ohio, right? Yes, yeah. He Croatian descent, right? But he's from Ohio, right? He wasn't drinking, but we were getting fucking smashed. Was it my boy Patty Fly Balls? We were drinking vodka sodas to the head. We must have 12, 15 vodka sodas. I get blackout drunk. I had sex with a famous lesbian chef i fucking wake up i swear to god dude i wake up the next day and i see this lesbian chef who i know from tv what does she look like? butt naked making pancakes and i'm like did we have sex last night and she goes you bet your ass we did i was like yeah but don't you like women she was like i cruise for cock once a year and you were the lucky cock i was like Do wow you the Whoa. Yeah, and then i threw up all over her floor and she kicked me out <laughs> but the, la- but the gotta, only I memory i have of that night funny. is the kid stop stop it or whatever stipe stipe we were fucking around i was and i was like doing like i was trying to punch him in the stomach and he put me in a headlock <laughs> as like for fun and i was joking around but i remember for about six months i couldn't move my head to the right dude yeah. i'd love to see this lesbian chef yeah well i'll tell you after the show because i have to you know i have to yeah, sign it wolfgang puck no it wasn't no. yeah it was no no, 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 it was I, want, a woman. I can't wait to it was hear a, about No, that. I yeah. fucking banged. And her was, name was Guy Fieri. Yeah, her name was Guy Fieri. It was a <laughs> yep. famous lesbian Dude, chef. you went to Flavortown. Dude, yeah. and she made these pancakes that were unbelievable. That's actually the last time in my life. This was two years ago. That's the last. I was drinking with Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir was there, Louis J. Gomez, me, Patty Fly Balls. And we were at New York, uh, New York Knicks game, and we went to this party after. And then I remember she made these fucking pancakes, and I like wanted to eat them, but I was so drunk and hungover that I just threw up all over her kitchen floor. Never heard then, from her again. Never huh? heard from her again. I mean, I tried to text her, get into her restaurants and all that shit and she was like no she was like it's once a year and that's it but yeah we have the same haircut we look it's kind of like i fucked my brother (laughs) but but same ass and i'm an only child so i'm not saying if i had a brother i wouldn't have tried to fuck him or not but she had a dick on her she had a dick on him but what what ufc question are you gonna ask uh do you who do you think is gonna win this is it gonna be donald cerrone or cowboy mcgregor i think cowboy's gonna maybe upset him yeah yeah Yeah. i don't even think it's that much of an upset well, yeah, really. statistically, it would be. Yeah, but why does everyone think he's a three to one underdog? Everyone it's just so thinks he's going to roll over him. That, but that's not true. Isn't that weird to you? It's a little bit weird, especially yeah. at one seventy. Yeah, Donald. That boy has lost his last two fights, though. He has lost his two last two. Now, fights. Connor hasn't won a fight in three years, though. Right, and right. I haven't seen. Um, and am I out of it? I haven't seen any talk, any nothing, hype. Nothing. Why is that? I don't know. There's nothing. It's so weird it's to weird, me. Weird, right? The, I, the build up. Here's the other thing: is the Uf, UFC goes. I don't know if they announced it. Maybe Dana did a little bit. He didn't really dive into it, but they go, oh, fastest sellout T-Mobile. We sold out in 30 minutes. And even that was, you know, a few weeks ago. Even I was like, God damn, come yeah. back. But then you look more into it. A lot of bots bought the tickets. The, the tickets are everywhere. You can buy they tickets. Are. Yeah. Why so, do you think that is? Why is it like not? I, I, I think it has a little press. bit to do as Connor, A, hasn't done press. B, the, the, the yeah, he hasn't won a fight in three years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, you know. There's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, I, and I wonder he if has he, to win he this might one. he might be yeah he might be a little nervous about creating a lot of hype if he loses. Uh, no, I end. don't think he's nervous. I just yeah. think he's a, if you saw his interview, he had a great interview with Ariel Hawani. You see his interview, he's dialed in. Yeah. He's dialed in. If you're a Connor fan, like oh yeah, he said he hasn't dialed. he hasn't had a drink in like months, three four months. Three months. Yeah, which if, I was like, all right. Well, if yeah. Donald not, if Donald sticks to the game plan, kicks front kicks him. I would front kick him and Ooh, kick I don't want to hear your game plan. Did you ever, Brendan, when you were fighting, did you ever like, two questions. One, did you ever go into a fight, like you're at the fight's the arena and you had to poop or pee pee? And uh, you just have to like fight, fuck it out. And fight. two, did you, ever get, did you ever get kicked in the face and what, what really knocked you out was the smell of the guy's foot? <laughs> those, now those are legit questions. Those are legit questions because I know people ask you all this, what's it like? I know that you're fearless and a maniac and nuts and you have mental health issues because you're fighting in a fucking octagon like that. Correct. I know that that's true, but I want to know what guys eat smell like and if you ever had to do a a poo poo or a pee pee. Yeah. Uh, every every I think every time you, you know when you get nervous you have to pee. So every fight you have to pee. Yeah. You just yeah. block it out. And I know because and I know like people have asked he, you like he, you ever roll he, around a guy get like attracted to a guy because that would be my <laughs> thing. No no I'm not trying to even be funny. My my thing would be fighting with a guy like that, especially a handsome guy like you. Like if you were my opponent, I would train and I'd be like I want to kill you. But then if we're nestling up like that and especially if you catch me with a kick. You know, to a certain part of my body, and I get an erection. How is that? <laughs> oh, man. How is that? <laughs> hold on. on natural hold thing? on. No, no. Chris, okay, hold on. Gay. Dude, I'm not. Chris, Brent knows I'm not but gay. Chris, but you, you get, fucking with me, but man. Chris, if you I get know, kicked dude. in the ribs, 
Are you in getting kicked around, bro? <laughs> no, I'm look not me in the eye that. right now, Brendan. I, you like it rough, right, dude. I'm not. You're not get, looking at me in the eye. I'm not. You're supposed in, to know what happens. I'm, I'm not, not what happens. into getting kicked around. I'm into starting monogamous relationships with men. <laughs> Man, it doesn't I, make me a homosexual. Again, I feel like you're being metaphorical, but I'm super. Confused. All I want to do is get a fucking mortgage with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man! I don't know what that means. <laughs> and come over for the holiday. Come on, <laughs> fucking holiday. Fuck, you're good. Man. You're really jerk off the shop, bro. You're fucking really good looking. I'm plum warning. <laughs> no, but I just want to um, know, you know? Yeah, I want to I know the answer to that question. Do you guys yeah, where's, your, where's, your you guys where's your money you, you on this fight? You wouldn't be able fight. to fight uh, Luke Rockhold then. <laughs> where's your money on this? Where's your money on this fight? Oh, you know I love Donald. I love Donald. But if Cowboy, but if Cerrone comes correct, Cerrone, I mean if uh, Connor comes correct, he should. Really? Yeah. You think Connor's okay at 170? Like being... Like I think so because Cerrone's not a huge 170. -er. You know, he's not yeah, like no. a like a Darren Till yeah. or a Woodley no. or one of those monsters. Yeah. Like Cerrone, real weight was 55. He is successful at 55. He's good at 70, but they're both tweeners. So right. it, it makes for Connor's comeback fight. It makes all the sense of the world. Right. It I, make I want Cal. I love I love Donald. And Don's a personal friend. I just want him to get paid. Yeah, that's why we get paid. Right, because even if he mm. wins, there's not a lot left for him. Right, just get paid. Yeah, for the sport, it's probably better if Connor wins. Mm. Way better for the, the UFC really, for the business. It's way better. Yeah, he only beats like little or guys. Who's that? Connor. Like he never he he, he did beat, beat, he he beat, did Nate, beat Nate the second time. Yeah. He did beat him, but I mean, it was like it could have kind of got if, if if there was like a little yeah. more time on the clock, he could have got choked Eddie, out Eddie, Alvarez, yeah. Eddie Alvarez is a thick dude. Yeah, he is. Chad Mendes yeah. is a thick dude. Chad's yum. small, but yummy, yummy. Thick. But thick as fuck. Thick. Yeah. No. What? Yummy. I said yummy, yummy because I was. <laughs> I, I wanted more rice thick. Dustin's, uh, Dustin's, <laughs> Dustin's, Dustin's 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 one eighty five when he's walking. Max around. Holloway's not small. No. Are there any gay UFC fighters that are out? None that came out. Just there, there was a few female lesbians. Yeah. Right. By few, I mean all. But yeah. uh, <laughs> not any of them chefs. I'm just kidding. Yeah. 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 What's a chef too? No, no, yeah, no, no, flat yeah. ass. Yeah. No, no go to current events. What do you guys got? All right. Here we go. What happened? Okay. What's going on in the? Yeah. So a woman is currently suing American Airlines because last year there was a worker who found her bag, got her phone number from the little tag and started texting her before and during the flight. Mm -hmm. He ended up getting arrested as soon as they landed in Chicago. And she tried to stay silent about the whole thing, but she finally got a lawyer. And now they are suing because he did this to a couple other women. It's interesting. It's interesting. That, it's interesting that that happens, and that and 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 it sucks that it happened. But two weeks ago, I went to Best Buy and I bought <laughs> something for my TV, and I used my credit card, and my information was saved. And the girl behind the register at Best Buy started texting me about three hours later, telling me that oh. she thought I was hot, and if I wanted to hang out, and and she was like. I can come over. I have your address. Was LOL. she hot? She was, you know, she's like a, yeah, she's like a young, hot enough girl. But I was like, it freaked me out. I, I was just like, wow, if this was, if I did that to her, right. I'd be on, I'd be on fucking yeah, headlines but she did right it. now. Was she a hot chick? She was a hot have chick. Come on yes, over, dude. I know. Well, I fucking text her. I was like, you have a hot brother. Catch some bugs. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. That's what I asked God, her about. Yeah, I knew it, dude. <laughs> Chris, I don't know, I man. It, and she said no. So I said, he's later, not gay. slut. <laughs> yeah, he's not man, gay. Man, Chris. No, it, is, it is the fucking. Barking up the wrong tree, uh, the roles are fucking wild. The role reversal is wild. But I mean, this is a creepy fucking dude. You can't do that. But I mean, also, it's like there was no physical contact. Like, what is the lawyer going to do? But, it's like, but block did, didn't a girl give you her number on a, by grabbing guy? Oh, yeah. Didn't he give you a number yeah, on yeah. A, a flight? Yeah. Serious? A Southwest most flight. Most of the flight like this. Ready? Southwest. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and was she was road. digging it. And I look good. I look, my, no, my, my eyelashes are long. Yeah. So, she liked the neck. Look. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she liked the neck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. She liked that neck. Don't say anything about like my, your Tommy Lee Jones neck. I have a nice neck. You I do don't, got a good neck. I have, a, and it's good skin on my neck. It's not yeah. chicken. It's not droopy. It's not it's my neck looks like a slinky, which is a fucking bullshit thing. <laughs> it kind of does. I said it looks like, like a wizard. Hey, yeah, but it's good. I got a good neck. Uh, now want, listen. You have the Tommy Lee uh, Jones. She gave neck, me her dude. number as I got off. I was so flattered I couldn't take it, and much younger than. Oh, me. you, you denied her. The kid still has it. What's age with a number? B. No, I was just impressed. Yeah. I was like, yeah. fucking made my day. Thank it didn't you. creep you yeah. out though, did it? No, keep creep me out. There's nothing a woman could do to creep me out. I had a woman got drunk and sat next to me oh, when yeah. the other guy got out, and she was a yeah. big gal, older and drunk as shit, yeah. and had been drinking tomato juice. Oh, yeah, and that her breath, breath smelled thing, like tomato juice. If I'm being honest, the only thing about a woman that's ever really creeped me out is when they have vaginas. 
That's it. Oh, <laughs> no. oh no. Chris. Brian. Oh, you fucking think talk. I'm gay. It's going to start to be like, I'm going to call my lawyer. I'm not saying you're gay. I'm just saying no, that you're... No, because don't spread that shit because I, I fucking have a family, man. I know that, dude, but you're being super dad, confusing. Man, dad. your metaphors what are amazing. You <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so Tyson Fury says that leading up to the fight, he is actively masturbating about seven times a day in order to get his testosterone testosterone levels high enough wow wow that's science I but i thought that, that testosterone would be, would be coming out if you're jerking off yeah. am i wrong on it that it would be that, I, that no 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 no, 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 no. Uh, that's that feels all like bro science. science well no br the bro yeah. science is not coming that's all so when old school boxers who and fighters ufc fighters just think this too when they think not having sex to save their testosterone and make sure they're aggressive not that's not true because yeah. when you're not busting nuts your testosterone goes we're good fellas let's shut down he's not using us got it so it lowers your testosterone so you want it out you want to be busting i know a few fighters who bust nuts the day up would you have sexual intercourse before the fight <laughs> i'm good whenever you could have you'd have dur during the fight sure <laughs> why not why yeah not? it's just sweaty it's yeah it's no lube yeah yeah, yeah. hold on that's Wait. what i've been thinking about <laughs> what oh i got yeah you. yeah yeah yeah. Oh, Chris. yeah let me, is this him I'm saying fine. he's gonna do it yep. he, i think a lot of times he's, he's, he's a wild funny. looking guy he's being funny. he's awesome yeah and i'm willing to try it why not what are some of the other things that psyched for this fight um, uh, Again, not a lot of hype emotion. I know. Keep me testosterone pumping. Oh, he's he's being silly. Pimp pump, pimp pump. He's being silly. Don't you know? Pump that up. That's a lot. Yeah, listen. Gotta keep. I've got a seven times. You ever done it seven times? No. Um, seven times. No, I jerked off four times on four, uh, Monday. Four's my record. <laughs> yeah. Four's my record. Because I'm in a hotel. When you're in a hotel, you just oh, start jerking dude. off. Yeah. They got nothing you know, to do. I got nothing to do. I put the water on. I listen to Lil Whitney. You start yeah, jerking off. Yeah, or in immersion <laughs> tanks. Or in immersion tanks. We yeah. do that. We do that. This kid put his we dick do. in a uh, icy hot tub. I did do that once. Yeah. Like Vassal, you know, the. Oh, yeah. 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 It burns, man. I was yeah. just curious. Of course it I does. was a teenager. <laughs> it wasn't a good movie. We did you the learned. immersion yeah. tank. He comes out like this. The float tank. The float tank. You go in. Rogan talks about it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You go and you float. He's all giggly. I'm like, what's up? He goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> jerked off in the did you? Jerked off in the I was like, I sure didn't, but everybody else does. Yeah, I'm never. There's a filter one. system, though, so take it easy. I'm never. I did bust one. a fat loaded one of those float oh, tanks. Christ, man. Well, your butt, your butt naked. It's warm water, yeah. and the warm water just splash and you're probably exotic about it and then you're shaking <laughs> everywhere i'm like i can't relax what's this <laughs> really and you're definitely a kid that you shoot fucking ropes oh i don't For know sure how do you, you shoot know? ropes don't say i ropes. don't know but i'm saying if i know this kid's got a fucking healthy prostate that's shooting ropes yeah all right maybe white worms but ropes For oh. sure, man whatever it is man yeah, I can't do those tanks maybe I, maybe now i'm a little older i try it now you know yeah how that old was, are you that was years ago 36 good age man <laughs> <laughs> we're the same old 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 yeah we're old. two old kids i'm old what are you I'm 40 53 wow January. wow you look fucking you look good. great yeah. you look real good. Yeah, you're here you're sick yeah. you're like yeah. your hair is sick <laughs> thanks <you>. yeah <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> so so I'm gonna kiss every little crease on that face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be here all day. We'll be here all day, guys. Guys, <laughs> guys, seriously, don't say that, man. That, oh yeah, you let yeah. me down. I was so excited, and then you fucking no. It's no, it's, it's natural. It's not. It's, I don't, I don't think I'm your fucking eyes. that young. You are no. no. You're young. You're young and cool. And everything. <laughs> <laughs> give, give it to him, B. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah no, give it to yeah, him, there bro. it is. Yeah, he's a good look. Stupid. <laughs> give it to him. This is so stupid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's just your natural resting it's face, so too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But how about Yannis has the least wrinkles out of anybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you look yeah, young, yeah, bro. Wow, dude. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> is so sweet. This yeah. is so stupid. Stop. Yeah. Get off my face. No, yeah, no, yeah. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Giannis, I feel like you have Good. the least wrinkles out of any of us here, though. Yeah. Green goes elite. talent most. Yeah. Let's be real. You got yeah. you got we some shoulders and arm on you. Let's lose the shirt. Thanks. You want to lose the shirt? Uh, you got you got hair. You hair like your yogurt hairy with hair in it when the shirt comes oh, off. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's gross. Yeah, you guys are New York bodies. Huh? Yeah, we, we do. New York we bots, get yeah. things accomplished. Pizza it's like tzatziki sauce. Huh? Yeah, it's gross. Show me with Absolutely. hair in it tonight. All right, <laughs> we're on a show together tonight. 
We are? Laugh uh, Factory. Yeah. Laugh, Laugh Factory. Factory, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so right, we'll go on. if you want to get there a little early. Let me ask you, though, have you ever felt more disrespected on a podcast? Jesus. Guy, he, he believes nothing you say. He's accused you of being gay like a hundred times. No, I'm not. I know. Funny. I mean, it's like a little. But it's, it's what like, I fucking deal I feel, with. In I my feel life. unwelcome. I mean, it's no, no, like. No, no, no. I apologize. No, I'm not saying right. I can feel the tension. It's not right. No, because I believe you. He's been honest with you. All he's telling you is the only thing I think since you walked in. Yeah, since you walked in, you've been skeptical of everything that's come out of his mouth. Can I formally apologize? Yeah, please do. Let me clarify. Yeah, please do. So, first of all, I'm. I'm sorry yes. that I, I yeah. gave you that impression. That's yeah. fair. The only thing I think is that and I and I, I think I believe that you're a straight guy, of course. Yeah, I am hundred percent. But I do believe you fuck guys. I <laughs> don't. Is that fair? I don't. Is that fair? So you're gonna tell me. Okay, fair? so Brian. So, fucking, what? so last night, what? last night, I'll fucking be hundred percent honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Last night, I was on Santa Monica Boulevard and I got I brought a thong with me. Well, I see, brought, no, 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 no. Listen no, to I'm me. I'm listening. I brought a thong and yeah. I pull my pants down a little bit and I have the thong and I'm showing people as they're going to the intersection. I'm trying to wave people off the side of the road because I want to pee on some guy's back. Yeah. Oh, and, and I want to do that. I want to pee deal. on some guy's back and. I got Giannis filming it because just Big in case deal. it's something that I like to jerk views. off to or whatever. You want it's got to be a man, specifically a straight man that's maybe coming home from work and I just yeah, don't want yeah. him to tell his family about it and I want to just have like a little a That's little thing. different. If you were wearing a crop top, then exactly. we have an issue. Right. I'm telling you, I'm wearing a thong. At least you're I'm, on the same page I'm wearing now. a thong, but yeah. I'm wearing a Yankee sweatshirt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You yeah, can't be gay and root for the Yankees. No, I, I couldn't agree more. Absolutely, man. If yeah. you got extras or anything like that, and you want to hey, hang where, out later. Where are you guys? Staying? I'm staying at the hotel. Um, I'm staying at a hotel in West Hollywood. I'm staying I, at my place. Yeah, 100. I got staying at my place. 100. I'm going to yeah. sniff your feet tonight. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You're a big kid. We're going to fucking wrestle, bro. Because <laughs> your <laughs> baseball ain't no good here. I'm yeah. working against my jits. I got a fucking bat. Yeah, you got a bat. I got yeah. a bat. Yeah. Oh, oh, weird, man. Yeah. Uh, what else Fuck you got, Kat? You puritan. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yesterday at LAX, there was a flight taking off to Shanghai, and yep. about 24 minutes out, they said that there was some engine failure. So they turned oh, yeah. around, yeah. and as they were getting back to LAX, they started to drop jet fuel, and it happened to hit over an elementary school. Jesus yeah. Christ. Hose those kids down. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, what are you going to do? kids are going to turn a Teenage Mutant Ninja. Yeah, thing. that's not yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, that's, yeah. It might be a Don't bunch of little school. Elon Musk now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's their fault for having a school close to the Is that a private school or yeah. a public school? That's what I said. Uh, right. I think it's public. There you go. There you go. Yeah, right. Public school. Yeah, because no, the private school kids. Yeah. Yeah. Public school kids are the ones who always <laughs> get fucked. Yeah. And I'm sure it wasn't. And I'm sure it wasn't a white neighborhood, right? Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't. I'm sure it was a fucking well, multi ethnic uh, neighborhood. Nope, is yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah. yeah, these kids pretty got Mexican lit up. Mexican neighborhood. Yeah. 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 And the next thing you know, ICE is coming over. Yeah. 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 Was it Spirit Airlines that that happened? What, no, it was a Chinese it? airline. Yeah. So it was the damn Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He means that affectionately. I mean, I was just kidding yeah, around. Just, no, he's just... Transgender fa- yeah, like, we got no, trans fans. I, you said that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the emails just say thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm kidding around. That sucks yeah. with the jet with the jet fuel. For fucking they can just, just dump, dump it wherever? Yeah. Why wouldn't... I had to be sure about it. Why wouldn't they go over the ocean and dump it? They probably could. They, they said that they needed do. to uh, let go of more weight in order to land the plane properly. And just dump it For some it reason, wherever? they decided yeah. to dump like right before as they were pulling it. Sounds like they targeted them a little bit. Wait, we're over at elementary school. Fire. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. just started like sprinkling accident. like all this fucking yes. gas. Wow. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. It's not that cool. That is fucked up. But everybody's yeah. okay, surprisingly. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Oh, if it's everyone's okay, why is everyone's story? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it happens. Light them on fire the most or the worst. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Big deal. There's no problem. <laughs> yeah. What else you got? Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to play a song. I'm sure you guys probably recognize it. We're not going to be able to use this on air, but I'll play it first. Well, we'll see. All right. Let me. You know the song, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. He does it. He does it. Shake it, rinks. Shake it, wrinkles. <laughs> Get your dick out. Uh, what? Hey, no, no, that's not what we're doing. Chris, no. Chris, no, Chris. No, no, no. I no. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, <laughs> that's... Get, 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 get. What about this, though, Chin? Aw, oh, man. You know the song. Yeah, we know the song. So the, artist, the artist's name is Young Jock. Yeah. And he was recently caught on camera driving an Uber. And I'll play it. This is the people that recorded him. You know, that's a new company. Oh, come on, man. I mean, the hustle's real, dude. 30, 40, 30, 40, you sound like somebody I know. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, why are they trying to out him, Yeah, man? just leave him alone. Somebody you know, like... I don't know. What's her name? It's okay if I call her a bitch. She's being a bitch. Oh, is that, she's a, bit? is that oh, a, she's a cunt? She's a cunt. Oh, it's yeah. a woman? Yeah, well, it's like with the that? people that made fun of the guy working at Whole Foods or yeah. Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. From the yeah. Cosby show? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so like, whatever. Oh, come See, on. so they're saying that. So they found out his young jock and they're like, oh, he must have fell off. He's actually, they're actually saying it to him 
behind his I mean, back in the brutal. car, right? That's yeah. fucked so up. fucked up. Fucked up. That's fucked tell me he brutal. took him out and beat the shit up? No, no, no. He's actually been, he was super nice and calm and cordial. But turns out, so he's, he does something like big brothers and sisters of, uh, I think Atlanta. So he's trying to show the kids to make an honest living is not going to be, you shouldn't be embarrassed about yeah. making an honest living. By the way, there's Hell nothing yeah. wrong with Good that. for him. And by yeah. the so way, does, maybe rap doesn't pay all the bills. And by the way. He actually makes good money. Like he does a bunch of stuff still. Yeah. He, still he just he does, does a rap this. Yeah. Still, yeah. He does hosting stuff. He does, he's on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I love hope. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. This Best makes season. me love this guy more. Yeah. 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 I love how that, she thought that was going to be a story about adding him and now it's just a story about her being exactly. a bitch. But she's, you know. But we people, don't know who she is, yeah, do who we? is that bitch? Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, probably upload it from the, her the fans Instagram, have, right? The fans have figured it out. Yeah. What's the video say, though, here? Uh, this is him just explaining what he was doing. So he's like, yo, you get the new record, you get a new track. No, no. SoundCloud. He's just a good dude. I'm a part of this organization. Been around for 25 years. Big brother, big sister. And a lot of times when we're talking to these kids and the youth, you got to lead by example. And sometimes, like, you have to show people you're not too big. You know what I'm saying? You have to show them what humility is and you're not too big to, you know, do the right thing by making an honest living. And I think a lot of times that's why our kids and even adults go astray because they too ashamed and too prideful, man, to do something. It was one of those things where you know how you just be, you, you, you start challenging yourself to do something you ain't never did before. So it's kind of like yeah. I mean, he needs the money, but yeah, that's a great deal. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no, no, he's like, he's like, <laughs> yeah. he definitely needs I was about some to say, money. If I got caught riding an Uber. I'd probably say that too. Yeah, like, no, 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 are he, you he, driving Uber? No, no, for, it's for the just kids. Such a bummer, though. That he no, has those people be. suck. He definitely needs the money to pay the bills, but those people it suck. Sucks. He might, he might be extra revenue. He yeah. might. No, yeah. so no shit. He, he needs to pay the bills. No no the thing is, is those people suck. They do suck. She should have, she should have made a video going good, good for you. Yeah. That's what she should have said. She should have done yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. she should have done anything. Yeah. Better than be on fucking on Santa Monica Selling Boulevard and the fucking shit. Yeah. yeah. So I was. I had Sorry. to make extra money too for my yeah. family. Yeah. Sorry. He's a radio How personality in to town. Bills. Appears on Love and Hip Hop and just opened a new club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, maybe he's just he's just a hustler. Right Good for way, him, man. I like him. Yeah. Sad. I mean, he's for <sighs> sure do like a look, man. I'm karaoke and cars thing. I'm not taking my shoe off. Dude, I'm not fucking taking my show. I'm not fucking show. Fuck you, show. You up. All right, man. <laughs> Those are nice kicks. Those Thanks, are really nice yeah. kicks. What size are you? Thirteen. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I, I like sneakers, Don't man. He's a sneaker head, dude. Favorite fucking number, yeah. dude. It's He's a sneaker head, bro. What does well, it cost makes for me to get? Who what does it cost to uh to smell them? <laughs> man, you've ruined this whole I podcast. apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. That's, that's was that, was that yeah. the last? That, okay, that'll Let's be do the, the next fucking. That'll be the it. last fucking. That'll be yeah. the last gay joke. I'm sorry. The last gay. I'll be in Cleveland ass. the end of this month at the hilarities. Yeah. Um, Antonio Brown throws, throws a bag of dicks at baby mama. Yeah. So apparently she's supposed to come by and pick up the kids, and then he's accusing her of trying to take one of his cars too, and then this ensued. So, so we have a video of him throwing two bags. Well, I don't think they have the videos of actual. Yeah, it's but uh, it, he kind of uh, went off gummy dicks. Oh, gummy dicks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shut up. I'll play a little bit of this. This is from Barstool. Oh, Antonio yeah. Brown. Uh, Antonio is Brown's wild. going crazy. Well, he's off of mental, cops too. No, you can't blame it on. You bitch. Come on, Polo. The fuck out of here. That's him filming it. Yep. Yeah, Live on Instagram. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking pussies. Fucking bitch. Get the fuck. Oh, that's good to do in front yeah, of the kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you pussies. Fuck out of here. I love you, Poppy. I oh my God. The That's get the fuck out of here. Wow. So he's talking shit about the police as well. You wish you could take me, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here. Jesus. Yeah, get in the back of the police car, fish bowl. You ain't leaving with shit, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, you bum ass hoe. Oh, wow. This yeah. is depressing. So if yeah. you try to come to steal, bitch, you're going to leave. So anyways. uh of his kids. You sure that's kids? not CT? Dude, he's a great I think it is That's CT. not CT. No? That's an asshole. No, he's a fucking moron. That's not CT. Right. People are blaming too many things on CT. No, right. just a fucking idiot. It's not an He's always been an idiot. Yeah, he's always you been an You think CT right. made him a, a diva and, right. uh, and unbearable to coach and unbearable yeah. to play no, with? No, absolutely. He's an asshole. Wow. Calling somebody fishbowl is funny, though. Yeah, that part was <laughs> funny. Said, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. I gave it's it's horrible like what happened, but I mean, I'm going to call somebody fishbowl tonight <laughs> if they yeah. have to. Why, why, why fishbowl, though? I didn't get the fishbowl. Right. I don't know. Yeah, it's just funny when you say random words. If you got a body, like if you got a boxy body, a fishbowl. Yeah, like, why don't you fucking watch your mouth, fishbowl? Yeah, that's funny. Also, doing that in front of your fucking two kids. Like, great example. Yeah. Disgusting, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's horrible. Listen, wow. I know. He, he says this. He thinks his, his wife looks like a fish. That's why he called her fish bowl. <laughs> Right, all right. Yeah, that fish-looking fish bitch. Fish-looking yeah. bitch going to jail. So they got, she got arrested, but then they're yelling at the she cops. She got arrested? Then I don't think she got cops. arrested. He's telling the cops they're bitch-ass pussies. Yeah, that's Stupid. great. Yeah, yeah. So here's the other thing. Um, Is that allowed? Can the cops arrest you for that? No, they won't they be able to. They can't do it, especially on his can. property. I think yeah, he's good. I agree. 
Um, but as soon as house gets robbed, who do you think he's going to call and be praying that they come there in yeah. time? Yeah. But th- then he puts this. Brown also acknowledges that the standoff isn't the best look for his NFL future, but quote, fuck the NFL. This is real life. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow. Great. So good. Let's watch this for a second. He's fast right. as hell. So he's actually allowed to play at the facilities, the police facilities. And then that was, that was something they worked out, but then now they cut ties. They cut with ties yeah. Right, because good. of this. You have to. It's sad. It's sad it's to sad. watch a guy spiral mm-hmm. like Because he's so still good. He yeah. still could, is good. Yeah. Top three in the league right yeah. now. So fast. Look at those. I can't oh. tell by just watching them. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's such the but the most bummer thing is doing that in front of his kids. Mm. It's brutal. Yeah. And talking smack on the cops too. He's a fucking idiot. Is he ever gonna play again, Brent? No, well, I don't that, think so. No, I don't think he can. No, no, who would sign up for I don't that? think no. he can anymore, you know? Because of all this that. stuff. This is this uh, is Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. Smith. I guess he supported him before, saying he should get a chance at the NFL. But now after this, he's like, no. Let I don't me hear what he, him is, anymore. Is, is it's it, super is, long. I love Stephen A. Smith. I love. Oh my God, I love Stephen A. Smith. I wouldn't let. I wouldn't bring him on my NFL team. You can't have him. He's can't a anymore, man. Not anymore. He's eloquent. Watch he's this. got problems. So <laughs> they said the exact same long. shit we just yeah. said. Mm-hmm. I learned nothing. From I learned that. nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> if, if, and it's like that is not it. good. He yeah. was yelling at the cops. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like Stephen. You have an original take though. Yeah. Well, well there's I mean, no original take. I'm not All convinced. Kind of what are you going to do? Let's go. Wow, in front of the kids. And I and I did say cops will arrest you typically for that, right? You're being. They can easily do it if they wanted to, yeah. for sure. On yeah. his property, even. Sure. Like, I'm pretty sure if he's being but, that, but but well, it's, he's being a, a, but it's a also a waste of their yeah, time. It is, but they're also like, what are we going to? What are you going to hold right. them in jail? For? What are you going to do? That's a little it's just worse more for them. A, a, yeah. yeah, it's more paperwork for them. Like, I, yeah, he's fucking crazy. this is strange, and uh, this is strange self saboteur. He doesn't seem right. On. Yeah, I think I'm not. Bl- I'm not. I'm not using any of it as an excuse, but I'm saying like, no, he shouldn't be considered for an NFL team. It's like his mental health is priority. It's like you're watching a man who's going insane. Yeah, like he can't even be considering. But also if a if the Broncos sign him tomorrow, I'd have a Antonio Brown jersey. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Is he? Is he? Uh, does he think he has, still has a lot of money because he missed out on ninety million dollars or something. Oh yeah, it's a ton of money. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't give a shit. Yeah. yeah, who cares? He's the best NFL in the league receiver for a long time. I know. Wow. I would assume he has. You know what? You don't know. You never know. You know, you know how you, these pro- guys you probably spend. don't make those moves and have a ton of money in the bank. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, and don't forget taxes. I don't, I don't think you have a good you don't 401k anywhere. plan when you're yeah. making moves like. I that, made 41 you know? million dollars this year. I I netted like 20 million. <laughs> I. What? Oh, how did you make? I that? Is podcast. Comedy Central. <laughs> Comedy Central. Man, that makes sense. Stupid questions. I'm, the interstitial show. I told you five minutes for every other. I'm Friday not saying night. that you're it's lying about that. I'm not saying you're. I'm not saying you're lying about that, but I do believe. You fuck God. <laughs> I don't. What else you got? Oh, man. No, that's uh, all I'm saying. And if you have sex with a condom, it doesn't count. So, I, I <laughs> Not that one. This guy. Remember your boy? Oh, the best. His name is David Baker. I guess he used to play um, of course basketball, not football. What? He never played yeah. football? Huh? Isn't that Ed Werder? It might be. From the Dallas Cowboys? David uh, Baker I would is imagine. the biggest but he, man. Someone showed me this and he's sweating because he's sweating. Suit. Wow. He's sweating because he's That looks like, like Brendan Schaub after a shellfish <laughs> allergy. <laughs> Dude, yeah. No, <laughs> hey. No, that, that's that. After he ate the wrong that lo- Does your dad look like that? Yeah. You say he looks like Fred Flintstone? He does. That's yeah, Fred yeah. Flintstone. Yeah. That is a large man. Dude, that's he looks fucking... like a shaved polar bear. That's yeah. why he's sweating out of his goddamn Jesus shoes. Jesus Christ. But, so he's the president of the Football Hall of Fame. Look how sweaty he is there. I'm sure he played football. I don't think so. Then why would they make him the fucking president? What is he the president of? The, the Hall of Fame. Pro- oh, okay. he's why he comes over like congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he played. He played See? football. Right, right. He had to play football. No, uh, pro basketball in Switzerland. Uh-huh. What is that even? Six foot nine Baker tip scales at nearly four hundred pounds. pounds. Wow. He used to play professional basketball in Switzerland. That's there you a go. big boy. Six Those basketball boy. players when they when their body lets loose, you know they're still big six boys. nine. They put on some yeah, big boys. <laughs> Big big boys. Yeah. Nobody blew out like Buster Douglas. You remember the way he blew out after he beat Tyson? Yeah. Just like yeah, yeah big. He got yeah. up over. Andy there. Ruiz oh. says, "Hold my tamale." But yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love Andy Ruiz. Do you? I well, I don't know. I'm not in boxing enough. I just watch it from like I don't know much about the fighting sports. But I just liked after the after when he lost the fight, the most recent fight. They were like, "What do you think happened out there?" And he was like, "I ate too much." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and "He came with thirty pounds." I was like, "Is that what he was, said?" He was like, "I really wasn't training. I ate too much food." So yeah, and then he was smiling. He was like, "Mexico." He like didn't give. Yeah, a he was fuck. like rematch. He was like, "Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah. gonna do it again I was like, though." This guy's great. And I'll take it serious next time. 
That's what he said. This guy's great. Want to talk about a fucking bod? Jesus Christ, Anthony yeah. Joshua, holy smokes! Yeah. I fucking go in the sauna, I live, get real nice and wet. Uh, yeah, fuck, catch some man. bugs with him, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Why are you saying that? Because he's black. Oh uh, no. <laughs> no, he's, what he meant? No, he's Mexican, no, dude. No, Anthony Joshua, we're talking oh. about. Oh. Because you said bug. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh wow. Good. One more, you <laughs> give me hey, one man. more, and then we're done. Uh, it's not a big deal, but McDonald's is going to start using MSG, and apparently, this is like a big deal. <laughs> it probably makes it healthier. I mean, I who cares? No, I'm MSG it it makes it like, taste better, it right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. But MSG is usually vilified. And it doesn't for give some you a reason. headache. I heard yeah. it doesn't give you a headache. I said, no, I, I heard it's. Headache. I heard it's all BS. It somehow came out, and there's even the Merriam-Webster di dictionary said it. There's something called CRS. Uh, Chinese restaurant syndrome. It's actually in there. Uh -huh. Really? Saying all that uh -huh. stuff. Like you get dizzy, you get, you know, with all that stuff. Like it's supposed to be real. But yeah. Pop uh, yeah, Popeyes, Chick fil A, they all use it. Delicious. Yeah. MSG? Yeah. MSG. So when McDonald's says we're listening to our customers, that means people ask for MSG? They're testing it and people like the taste of it better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but if, of well, course. With, with Chinese food, American Chinese food, it's like, oh, make sure that doesn't have MSG. It's a flavor. Like, it's a weird thing. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So wait, it, is it not bad for you? Though? Is it monosodium no. glutamate? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> we're like rick and morty over here dude i fucking like it dude not bad this is the best this is the best podcast of all no time. seriously this part and 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 this the and the gayest and the yeah and the gayest. yeah get ready get ready for your numbers to <laughs> not a mean bro god that burger yeah, i've been uh, that yeah, burger looks so delicious no, it's great let's no. go eat a fucking burger guys that's what you eat after this fuck yes yeah. i do let's get a hotel room and then let's go like this and drive <laughs> fast like this and go have you, have you ever do you ever just rock out yeah put on um put on ted nugent's stranglehold so i can show you how you rock out i'd like to see that i'd like to see this yeah you can't uh, play the audio though. people my age take your pants off people. people my age understand how to rock out you fucking idiots don't know yeah young dudes don't know how to fucking nope, nope. rock out yeah take, <laughs> hey take your wig off when you oh, put on double live gonzo take which yeah, one hey b take your wig off take your wig off <laughs> wait take your wig off <laughs> rock out with the wig off though <laughs> hey show me your bottom teeth <laughs> what's this ready Oh. Uh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Slap what? that. Slap it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though, man. Yeah. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> hey B, put your hoodie on. Put your hoodie on though. Your hair's distracting. Put your hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. <laughs> hey, have more stuff in your pockets, yeah. though. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're not old at all. Put more stuff in your pockets like a janitor. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah dude. Yeah. 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 There it is. Fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, B, roll, roll your jeans up so they can see your psoriasis. Roll your jeans up. <laughs> yeah. This, went, this is un went from uncomfortably gay to uncomfortably white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> now this is the longest song in history, but whatever. <laughs> Keep going, yeah, dude. Fuck off. Yeah. No, you don't, guys don't man. appreciate good rocking out. That was good, yeah. Anyway. Thanks, Very bro. nice, awesome, man. Dude. I rock, bro. Uh, let me great. put my dude, fucking see? knot in my pocket. Yeah, that's 20 bucks. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Test yeah, the key. Hell yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. sweet George Costanza wallet. It. Hey, Cleveland, you guys want to fucking laugh? If you don't want to constantly have and go, this is the best motherfucking show I've ever seen, don't come to Cleveland. Hilarious July January 30th, 31st, <laughs> and 1st of February. Yeah, boys, come get <laughs> sucked <laughs> off. Down at West Palm Beach Improv for Valentine's well, Day, February shape, 14, huh? 15, 16. Fuck shape. no, I go hard. Uh, I'm Hello? in San Jose this weekend. How many zeros in a million, guys? <laughs> Call me when you're serious, you fucking asshole. Yeah, hang up. <laughs> uh, I'm in San Jose this weekend. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Those almost sold out. We had a Sunday show. One show Sunday night. Sunday. Come and get it. Next week, Charlotte Comedy Zone, I think. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then Columbus, Ohio, January 1st through February 1st. San Antonio, Ontario, uh, Valentine's Day weekend. And then Vancouver, JFL Comedy uh, Festival. One show only, Vogue Theater, Vancouver. Get your tickets, tfatk.com. 
Fellas? Yeah. I got um, January 24th, um, Spaceland Ballroom, Hamden, Connecticut. Those tickets are almost sold out. Yeah, then yeah. I got the Celebrity Theater, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Those tickets are almost sold Hell out. Yeah. Then I got February 8th at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. That one needs some help. <laughs> and then we got February 28th and 29th <laughs> at Hilarities in Cleveland. That one also needs some help. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll um, make a speech. ChristyComedy.com. Yeah, Where? Yeah, yeah. ChrisDComedy.com slash grinder. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. You honest, you're going to say? Yeah. Uh, check out a special before you go oh, out. Yeah. a special on YouTube. Please check out my special, Blowing the Light. Yeah, Blowing the Light on YouTube. I'll be at Gotham Comedy Club uh, February 21st to 22nd. Uncle Vinny's Comedy Club in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, 28th, 29th of February. Dude, I'm in New York at Gotham, I think, in April. Will you come I'm to our potty coming. when you're in? I'm, I'm there, dude. And you guys yeah. are going to be there, too. Hell yeah, we're coming. Let's do yeah. it. When are you Let's all come. New York. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When's Let's the, come. When is the man dragon coming? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You fucks? Oh, when the yeah. man dragon decides to fly in and fucking... <laughs> 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 The comedy landscape, <laughs> fucking yeah. yo-yos. Yeah. <laughs> Just one this fucking podcast. Chris Stefano is on. I'm out here. This the fun kid. That was fucking nonsense and fantastic. That was great. Fantastic. That's funny, man. You guys are good. Holy shit.